All right, and we are starting a uh, Boston Blueby 2.6 for uh, plus R. Got a large bracket today, 23 people. Just that convenient number where we got a little bit of a funky bracket with a lot of buys in it, but we're that, gonna have that, tight matches too. Really convenient, 23 people, but uh, we should have a good event for us tonight. We're starting off with Gorgovich versus Thello. Testament versus Justice. Uh, I generally hear this is one of Justice's worst matchups because she has to play Rushdown against Testament. Yeah, absolutely. And with a <laughs> with absent multi many options for like for wake up situations, EXE Beast can be a real demon, and you're kind of stuck holding it. Look, all she's got to do is Omega Shift, and then she's got two air dashes to get in. <laughs> oh, there's the tech. All right, but well, a strong start. But and Thello is a quite a strong player, so uh, if anyone knows this matchup, it'll be Thello. Yeah, of course, the fact that Warren is a, a counter that can counter projectiles means nuclear blasts are a lot more difficult to work with. Ooh, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, great use of the period to get out of the corner situation and block the Nightmare Circular. Ooh, the counter anyway. hit by the uh, hit after that. Nightmare Circular is plus nine on block. You have to hold that if you block. Good use of the JH to get another knockdown. Another Nightmare Circular. Gorgovich just does not want Thello to get a turn, but Thello is uh, forcing his way in. Ooh, nice counter, counter. long range bar flash. And? and no burst. Gorgovich is going to let that rock. Thello takes the first round of the night. Goes for the big damage conversion. Round right. 5k. Oh, this is going to be a heap of damage. Ooh, oh, with the, the, the 6H doesn't get both hits, so he doesn't quite get the launch properly. Still, Thello looks pretty firmly in the driver's seat. Oh, <laughs> it may have stopped the, drive, the driver's seat was seized with the OTG curse spell. Uh, don't you hate driving and then a giant Barney the Dinosaur jumps in? Ooh, and a nice throw after the XDB is pushed Ooh, that drops in. the combo off the throw, though. What? Just throw- Michael Floor doing a lot of work to, to stop the air dash from Gorgovich. Nice overhead, too. Yep. Oh, uh, uh, life bars are pretty even, but Thello- Ooh, counters that warrant, and one more hit. Ooh, but oh, Gorgovich gets the hit. Dan the Convert, this poison is gonna wear through enough guts to make the combo kill. Nice Just stuff by Gorgovich. Justice, one of the three Guts 5 characters in this game, so Poison is uh, extra good against her. Hit by a nuclear blast and Michael Floyd simultaneously. Oh, and getting countered. And there's counter. The burst. Ooh, and the burst punish. Oof. Very, very good start for Dello in this round. Absolutely, but there's the counter hit Beast. Gets hit by the net. I believe if you, if you block, uh, you can't be punished by burst into the net. Nice use to the... All that nice use of the Michael Blade to punish the EXE Beast Summon, and Thello game one goes to Thello. Nice. Thello definitely looks like he is aware of how this matchup is supposed to play out. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, I imagine if you played a fair bit of plus R, especially, and you, you're probably going to run into a, your, your fair share of testaments. So you got to get this matchup down, and Thello has certainly been around the block. And Gor but Gorgovich has put on plenty of strong performances in this very in our many brackets, so absolutely no counting Gorgovich out yet. Oh, I should also open the match for now. I am doing great today. <laughs> hey, thank you for doubling the pot once again, Dastarin. Thank you so much. We have broken a hundred dollars. Jeez, another good six P overhead. Another oh blocks the warrant so. Gets Testament out of the corner, but doesn't do, do the damage of the poison. Alright, but a big, big hill to climb for Gorgovich here. He gets countered again. Fellow using great use of the Valkyrie arc to catch that far slash from Testament. He's gotten a ton of mileage so far. Absolutely. Fellow takes the first round. Fellow is now one round away from our. <laughs> oh, <laughs> both players go for the round start counter, just posing at each other. I love it. Set up a low nuke to get Gorgovich to jump over it, but the high nuke is there. Gorgovich is looking at a. It's gonna take, or it's gonna take a lot of work for Gorgovich to come back from this. But, yeah. Uh, First already spent, not a ton of meter, and no, this is a game to lose. But there's oh. the Sapiera trance. Yeah, the nuke overhead, trying to sneak under it. Obviously, you have to be mindful of the manual detonation, but then Superior right through the whole thing. Great, great match by Thello over, overall there. Moves on. Absolutely. And Thello takes our first round of the set. And up next, we have Phoebe versus Cyan Plaza. Uh, Phoebe and Cyan Plaza, I believe, have played quite a few times. They are uh, both prominent in the other Guilty Gear Discord I'm in. Shout out to LGBTQ fighters. Heck yeah. 
We appreciate so many folks from <coughs> so many different other little sub mini communities coming, finding a, a tournament home in ours. And uh, so this is going to be Zappa versus Faust, if I'm not mistaken, right? Absolutely. Uh, both of these quite good players, and uh, a matchup that we don't see that often. There are not that many Zappa players, despite him being quite strong in this game. It's an intimidating character to learn, because you functionally have to, what, learn four to five different characters, kind of? Mm -hmm, something like that. But and you jump between them at mostly random. Outstanding. Uh, I believe Zappa still has the weird quirk where if he uh, if he gets a summon at 2, 1, or 0 on the second clock, his summon is actually guaranteed which one it is. Hmm. Uh, That's extremely cool. Wild, but I believe it is sorted to ghost at one and dog at zero. Oh. If the last set, uh, if the last second of the clock is one of those. And sword is number one, I'm told. So that's probably <laughs> good. Sword uh, got an amazing buff in plus R. Yeah, sword is a terrifying thing to deal with. Absolutely. And I mean, you know, it's a, it's really good at giving you wild instant overheads, but Faust also can kind of low profile a lot of stuff, but we're about to find out how this is going to go. Cyan Plaza with that uh, eye-searing cyan color. Absolutely. Oh, the dog is in play. We can get some really nasty block string type setup using it. Absolutely. Uh, dog Zappa, not too dissimilar to Eddie in uh, general play style. Oh, and the and dog is back, back, and the sandwich is on, but he used 2k to get rid of the dog. <laughs> and dog, dog is back. Time. Phoebe determined to play a puppet character today. Great effort, good great. Throw. Absolutely, and takes the corner. Big reward. Good use the dead angle, though. And, and now the sword is in play. Oh, good anti air. Yep, uh, sword of proximity based on whether its moves are lows or overheads, which is uh, wild. Oop, locks the door. Cyan Plaza flying around, just trying to find, trying to get some space to throw those items that Faust is so famous for. Ooh, get, get the hit with the four chroma pop, the sword is gone. Ooh, block the six heavy, but doesn't punish. Nice convert off of the TD. Oh, wash pan in the sky. No, oh, that was wash pan. Jumps over the six heavy, both ca or both players at a uh, very low life. Ooh, coming from above with the sword up there, dangerous, but doesn't, no, no, no hit for it. Absolutely, oh, no dear. my way, blocked. Oh, yeah. Well, Plaza Probably. blocks the whole string, gets on in. One great block to both players, characters. but yeah. Oh, the ghosts are in play. Not super high damage, but if you only need the one hit, or yep. kind of just to run out these last three oh, seconds. Oh, we're gonna run out the clock, and Phoebe wins the first round by timeout. Oh, yeah, oh, he did see that. You know, if that door had actually hit, I might have done it. Quarter Beautiful. of a second later. Ooh, the run up, sword summon. Got one orb in play. I'd like to see some Rao here. Hopefully, we'll get that. <laughs> Uh, Rao, actually not always Zappa's best summon in this game. Quite a few matchups where you'd rather have one of the other ones, but... Indeed, but damage. Rao is extremely cool, so in a way, selfishly, I would like to see it. And also to color match what Cyan Plaza has going on. <laughs> Alright, Clash with the Sword DP. Uh, looks like we only need one more orb to get Rao. Yeah, we are very near it. We are orbed up. Phoebe is ready to bring the big ghost out. But uh, the sword is doing plenty of work. Oh, oh. And that should be it. Cyan Plaza's got quite a ways to Mini go. Mini Potemkin is here! Zappa is cornered. This is Cyan Plaza's chance. Oh, farewell, Mini Potemkin. Thank you for showing up. And there's Rao, just like you wanted. Uh, Rao, very high damage character. Very strong. Oh. <laughs> that, very strong that DP Rao had and, uh, extremely good. Very good fireballs. Absolutely. But dang, very, very good stuff from Phoebe. Especially in that second round. It's very commanding use of the sword to keep Cyan Plaza in place. To steal boatloads of damage. But Faust has all the, uh, plenty of tools for space control as well, so Cyan Plaza is far from out of it. Yes, Faust uh, also a, a very strong character in this game. Quite possibly Faust's best game. Oh, yeah. This is as, as strong as Faust has ever been, and very fun to watch. But oh, Meteors in play, that's a great that's start. Meteors. And there they are. Ooh, Big that is damage. a high damage combo off Meteors. Cyan and Plaza taking an early life lead. Yeah. And the burst whiffs too, so it's going to be quite a bit, quite some time till that's back. Great movement Fortress. to avoid the love though, and uses the summon to punish the door, but gets hit with the 5D and takes big damage. That's another Meteor on the way up too. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Meteor OTGs, and this is Cyan Plaza's game to lose. Washington. Yeah. Ooh, but dead Nice uh, dead, dead angle. angle. Get right through avoid it. that Washington. 
But Sangpaws is sitting at a sizable life lead, takes the first round. Great stuff. Great, great Ooh. recovery by Sangpaws, for sure. I mean, obviously getting a couple of meteors is helpful, but still playing quite well as well. Absolutely. Uh, Cyan Plaza now at a little bit of a life deficit, but uh, just just needs to keep playing fast game. Oh, and great scalpel fall. It's going to be Absolutely. a bit of damage. Let's see if Zappa wakes up with a ghost here. Nope. Donuts in play, which can't throw another item while that's there. Ooh, good nice one block. up hack and slash. And uh, speaking Ooh, of unblockable, a the big 6 8. Oh, Ooh. first in the last possible second, but hits JP for the end. A little bit of a Cali burst there. And uh, Cyan Plaza brings it to 1-1. One, one. I imagine that was a burst. It basically, that another hit of going my way may well have just done it. So you just kind of got to yep. crash it out and give yourself a chance better than zero chance. Oh, we got a game. We got a game three. We absolutely have a game for it. Looks the players like taking, taking, taking turns game. being in control here. So let's see if we got some more back and forth. Both of these characters are very able to low profile many things. Alright. So here we go. For all the you know, this match marble marbles. Oh, we're loading up. There we go. Alright, what do we got for round starts? Backdash for both players. Respect, I like it. Absolutely. Great anti-air 2k, hack and flash whip, but keep the pressure going. Hits Oh, when the ghosts are attached to you, you start eating a lot of very weird nonsense bouncing across the screen, which can be really annoying to deal with. Force Break Door! Force Break Door, a combo starter, if I'm uh, not mistaken. I believe so, but yeah. Uses that use that chocolate to try and bait BB in. Oh, I would run right into the scalpel, scalpel looks like. no dice. Yeah, the scalpel, while very long range, can be low profile, and that is a bad scene to be in. Hold on to the donut. A little bit of a favor, but... The damage worked out. Uh, is Donut Meteor or uh, Health? I believe it is Health. That was two bombs in play. Oh, Meteor. Oh. This is a chance to really make something happen. Ooh, not not a great Meteor set. Now we oh, are sandwiched wait. between the dog. Yeah, yeah you, don't, you gotta be mindful where the dog is. Oh, Alright, get the hit. It's the secret unblockable overhead. Great navigation for the dog situation. Sure, blocks the force break chop, gets under there. And tried to create the sandwich, but gets hit by the falling JD. And Cyan Plaza now one round away from taking it over Phoebe in game one. Phoebe going in, but then sees the ghost, so then realizes, no, I'm not in the going in mode, and <laughs> backs out of it. Nice. Good that right by Phoebe, big, Yeah, the ghost overhead is pretty scary as well. Phoebe's still untouched so far. Trying to block, make Zappa block things, but the dog is here to help. I believe the dog just got hit by that pogo startup. I do believe that is uh, what happened, yes. Oh. Oh. Good knockdown by uh, Cyan Plaza, but a great dead angle by Phoebe. And a block of the 5D, get hit by the JD, and the pressure is on. Really back and forth match here. Yeah. Phoebe Cyan Plaza doing a really great move. job just keeping Good Phoebe block. like at bay. Whenever they get a spirit and try to go in, Cyan Plaza just gets a knockdown, makes the spirit go away, and then they have to recalculate their whole plan. Ooh, I did not know Zappa could run under the scalpel. That's uh, that sounds yeah, like quite a dash so low to the ground. But it's brutal. I think Zappa can uh, dash under my butterflies. That's almost certainly true. The dog is all right. Yeah, the dog's in the sandwich. The Yep, uh, <laughs> un unlike uh, Eddie, Dog can move while Eddie is, uh, oh, while Zappa is blocking or uh, getting comboed? I don't think that one's true. Alright, so much meter on BB's side here. You can some dead angle out. Ooh, this combo is going to hurt and be a good knockdown for Zion. Both characters oh, very well. And the meteors, BB has to be really very, very careful there. here. And there's Eight almost seconds no left time on the left. That mini Robokai is going to be a. Phoebe's got to make something yeah. happen here. Oh, get to hit! Oh. But not, not quite enough. enough. And Simon oh. Plaza takes it over Phoebe. Two timeouts in this set. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> skele an entire skeleton. Thank you for pointing out that uh, the summons go away on hit, so it can't it can't move on hit. Whew. And that, that was, was a timeout round. You do not see that that often, especially with no Bridget on screen. Absolutely, but. Hey, it was tense, so both of those players brought some, brought it, and, well, Cyan's going to be moving on. Absolutely. Best Phoebe will probably see some, some more of, because I really enjoy watching Zappa be played. 
What do we got? So we've got... Ooh, nice tank for Skeletal Minion. Nice. This is going to be Kai versus Abba. Uh, Kai, a character with a very fast instant kill and uh, quite a few good ways to knock down, so... Uh, yep. I imagine, I imagine if Noise Tank knows the matchup, we will see, we will see some instant kills. Absolutely, but I mean, of course, Skeletal Minion, we've, yeah, Skeletal we've Minion, seen plenty of times, knows Hero very Champion. well how to manage that Muroha mode gauge, and if you start getting knockdowns on Skeletal, they'll take every chance they can get to either yep. go, go Goku to fill the meter back up, or Blood Pack to make it go away, whatever it takes. So let's see. Abba, just a... Incredibly enjoyable character to watch in this game. I love Abba. Absolutely. He's All right. Get the knockdown <laughs> in the corner. And oh, what there's Maroha. Up. This but should be the first knockdown. I was actually curious if the OTG Lightning counted as the second knockdown. That would be a real bummer, but it's it fun. does not, luckily. All right. Oh, and there's the Goku Maraha. This is going to do a lot of damage, but we got a good just burst here. Burst out and Ooh. gets hit out of the startup. The charge is gonna this is gonna hurt a whole this lot. It's gonna kill, but it might set up into an unblockable that does. Oh, Ooh, text out, but gets thrown back into the corner. This also likely will not kill, but again, like you said, the unblockable may be coming. It's unblockable. Oh, but yeah, it's going use it. <laughs> both yep. of them gold burst. Incredible. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. You'd love to see it. It's a New England <laughs> tournament. Gold bursts need to happen all the time. Absolutely. Oh, we got a... What a cost of. Huh. And there's that there's that scary Abba pressure. Almost all of her buttons are plus on block. Ooh, this is going to be a ton of damage. That, got a here. This, this is probably going to be it. Yeah, absolutely. The FRC, no burst. Yeah, that's it. Skeletal Minion takes the first game. Wow. And just having, <laughs> being dizzy by Abba, and just having Abba Goku Maroha sprinting at you to build meter while you're trying to shake out. Absolutely. That's just a terrifying sight. <laughs> but Noise Tank's been playing this game for a long time, so uh, Noise Tank definitely has the fighting game experience to make the adjustments. Absolutely. And we started with a color Ooh, adjustment. a color change. Uh, as we all know, different colors have different fran- no, they do not. <laughs> do not change <laughs> colors. Different strengths and weaknesses, you know. Different special moves. <laughs> A type advantage here. Alright, so we got some, got some maneuvering, trying to keep- obviously you gotta keep slow-moving Abba out, so you don't get key grab. Ooh, uses the command dash, but does not get in. Yep, this is, a uh, Noise Tank's chance to get as much damage as possible before Abba's in her, uh, scary Maroha mode, but... Look, now Maroha's here, Maraha, back, back so. on Zai's. Donzai, uh, Abba's DP instead of Invuln, it has a uh, hit of super armor, which lets it go through some things that most DPs can't. Absolutely. Actually, the Force Strike version, and this is going to be an absurd amount of damage. <laughs> so much damage! And transforms back and key grab. Back. Oh, and there's the throw. Here's going to be another key grab. It's, and ooh, Abba's incredible up. sweep uh, takes its skeleton minion now one round away from uh, taking this taking this match over uh, Noise Tank. Yeah, but Noise Tank was definitely looking better there at the start of that round before things, you know, Abba oh, out of control. Nice back. Whoa! You love to see that slashback, uh, Guilty Gear, or, uh, XX, yeah, Accent Core's parry style move. Uh, two frame window, I believe, for the first one. If you cut down on the recovery time, it gives you more advantage, the chance to do something like that kind of gr that grab that Elsa just did. Oh, yeah. round for Lightning, going to be a second knockdown. Really, ooh, and the dust whiffs, unfortunately, and Skeletal yeah. Minion takes it over Noise Tank. Yeah. The Force Break Donzai, of course, has, I believe, hyper armor, in fact, so any amount of hits, that, other than a super, that's just going Supers to and throws keep are going the right through. Thing that will knock her out of that. Yeah, so, solid wake-up option if you have it. So, even, and I mean, I imagine playing against Abba, especially somebody like Skeletal Minion, you get those two knockdowns, you just really want that last one, because then you're like, oh, I can IK I this kid. Sweet. So, when, you, when waking up from that second knockdown with a Forest Break Donzai, you know they're thirsty to get the last one, so you're likely to blow them up out of whatever they're going to do to you. So, great stuff from Skeletal. I love this game soundtrack. Oh, oh yeah. now we have Elven Shadow. Elven Shadow taking on Froton, I believe? Taking nice. Taking on Froton. Uh, El Elven Shadow, Another Kai. basically no introduction. Uh, one of the, if not the best, get guilty or uh, plus our players in the country. Absolutely. Host of F Frosty Faustings. So Faust Legend. 
Mm-hmm. Elven Shadow is the Faust in the United States. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, last week's champion. <laughs> yep. Not surprising. Um, but in Proton, yeah, another Kai player, another regular show uh, player in our tournaments. Like to like to see how how they adjust. How Proton, yeah, that Proton is ready to for such a oh well, such a such a powerful opponent, of course. But you know, part of playing in tournaments is just bringing your best to whoever you're up against. Ah, <laughs> uh, good. Uh, I see that uh, JMD did in fact screenshot that. So, uh, so we will have a horrible firstborn name if Ava makes it Mr. I. Uh-huh. I mean, it's initials. You could name your child, like, <laughs> I don't know, something that abbreviates to ABA without it being, like, su- super wild. Just, just tell them it's it's named after the band. You just really yeah. liked Mamma Mia. They're a dancing queen. <laughs> oh, uh, Froton checked in, correct? I believe they've already played, yeah. Okay. Ah, excellent. Alright, so uh, we will have Froton here in just a minute. Man, if we get through another bracket without Spooky being on stream, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> oh, is Spooky in the, uh, in the tournament? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Rad. Yeah, love, love to see more new England. Froton about to V-shift their way in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I did see that. And we got... I, Not gonna lie, Rose looks great. I'm still probably not gonna play Street Fighter V, but I do love that character. I mean, yeah, putting Rose in that in, back in, in a Street Fighter game is the most aggressive thing you can do to try to make me reinstall it. Like, Rose is my favorite Street Fighter character. I love her so much. Like, Shout out to Alpha, too. Yeah. My favorite Street Fighter character is unfortunately Alex. Um, it'll, yeah, be, you know. it'll be good in the game at some point. <laughs> Statistically, it has to happen. Yeah, like if it weren't for the fact that this upgrade, this update is happening like right after a Strive beta. That's I like. I'm. It's gonna. Yeah. I'm in Guilty Gear mode like, most of the time, but especially now. Although like, I say Strive's I, coming. I say Alex is my favorite character, but I play Oro in Third Strike. So there you go. They're gonna put Oro in this game too. Mm, yeah, I know that. <laughs> and they're gonna put a sick. To put Akira in, like, and then there's random select, but in a character. <laughs> a lot of wild stuff's going on. Twelve, but already X copied. <laughs> yes, twelve minus one. <laughs> Ugh, what a weird, what a fantastic thing. Shoutouts to shoutouts to that game. I don't game. play, but whatever. Shoutouts to Street Fighter Five. They. That game is wild. I, I do, like, even though I don't play it, I do love to see them just doing a bunch of wild stuff. Just, like, why not? Do cool things with your game. Like, be willing to make wild mechanical changes. We, know the, we know the whole Season 5 ca- uh, cast. Catalog. I think there's still a question mark in the stuff is that there? they put out. Because I don't believe that Eleven is on yeah, the Season Yeah, Eleven's not So, one, okay. I believe it's Dan, Rose, Oro, Akira, Akira Quattro okay. Park. So there is... Huh. I, it's, I, I know uh, she's from Third Strike, but it would be so weird to me to go through a Street Fighter game without Makoto. I mean, yeah. A character that everyone loves and nobody hates. The plot twist <laughs> is that Jam's not going to be in Strive because Jam's in Street Fighter 5. <laughs> Jam's in Street Fighter 5. Still has air dashes, though. Absolutely. That'd be pretty sick. Damn, can't believe I'm going to play Street Fighter 5. <laughs> <laughs> To, oh, there we go. Proton is here. I no longer need to talk about Street Fighter V. Hey, we can van for time as long as we need to. We can just start talking about other dumb fighting games. Oh man, I've got so many dumb fighting games to talk about. All right. Please. Jurassic Next Park Warpath. No, um, whatever. <laughs> Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament. But let's go to uh, oh, Proton no. vs. Elven Shadow. And not go. have me talk about WAMP for 30 minutes. Maybe someday. All right, here we go. So what do we got for round start options for, well, Kai against Faust. I mean, Faust has plethora, of course. Long reaching normals. Do we get far slash? Is that what we're dealing with? Dang it. Oh, that would have been sick. But... I wanted it. I wanted it too bad. All right. Ooh, gets tagged by both the dumbbell and the 5k. 
Kai has some of the best anti-airs in this game, and uh, Faust is a character who, who likes to spend a lot of time in the air, so... Oh, Robokai! Oh. Mini Robokai smacking you out of the start-up. Oh, and this is almost going to be a dizzy. Oh, what? <laughs> the OT... Uh, the un-OTGs. <laughs> the dizzy. triple force break pogo. OTG Absolutely over and over again. trying to get that Stab dizzy. this man in the heart break. over and over. And oh, we're at our Greet Sever. Hey, there's the Greet Sever. Remember, kids, if you want something enough, it will always happen. Yeah, you can will things into believing. Magical thinking. Mm -hmm. But only round start greed severs. Yeah. Anyway, Elven Shadow taking Ooh. another commanding lead over Proton. Absolutely. The wash pan's in the sky. I thought, but perhaps I was wrong. Ooh. Runs up greed sever. We got a corner combo with this. Alright, solid damage. And a cross up greed sever as well. Oh. Ooh, another six heavy. Now it's that my turn for the overhead. Everyone up. Wow. How great. fast is that overhead? I'm gonna go check. Somewhere in the realm of 40 to 50 something frames. It's 25 frames. Oh, wow. I always like to downplay how, fa how fast it is because um, it makes you feel better about hitting it. <laughs> yes, what is Greed Sever in the face of Scalpel Sever? That, that's roughly about right. All right, I want to round start 6H, Elven Shadow. Come on. I want to round start Greed Sever versus 6H. I want to see which one wins. I assume you can 5D through Greed Sever if, you're, if you time. I don't know if that's too slow, like it would still be active over you, but that'd be cool too. All right, all right backdash, just start throwing some items. Why not? Absolutely. Oh, Elven Shadow throwing a little mini Elven Shadow, holding the fort for him. Absolutely. All right. Get the corner knockdown. Two yep. K's under the DP. Yeah, Two K has a habit of notoriously low profile. Yeah. Of Absolutely, and Two K is a great move for low profiling things. We we love our low profile uh, three hit low anti airs. Yeah, that thing still low profiles under vapor thrust and exert as well. It's fantastic. But will it still low profile under vapor thrust in us? Try. We will know in a week. All right, Mini Faust here to help Elven Shadow set up his offense. Absolutely. Ooh, crawling under the That was incredible. Oof. All right, bomb to play. Ooh, force break Pogo. It comes down and so it all fast. Combos. One more hit. Oh, goes under that again and hack and slash. Elven Shadow, one round away from taking it over Froton. Froton's got a got a large mountain to climb. All right, ooh, gets hit with the sixth H, but not really much out of it. Air dash is out of the corner. But ooh, already back, back down. down. Throws a little mini Faust. He's on his way. He's helping out. He's just having a good time. Absolutely. I mean, Furton's got to be mindful of it. So, oh, and gets tagged. Lands on it. All right. One little mini Faust. The bomb is there. Has to, block. has to respect all this, and that just feels terrible. Who jumps over the six heavy? Blocked Greed Sever. Good burst. Ooh, there. put the burst is blocked. This and this be Yep. <laughs> Enough items this? have hit, and enough items have hitboxes on the way up that the item super when you just need one hit is not that bad. <laughs> Great stuff by Alvin Shadow. Moving on. 6H does rule, and it's great. Despite the fact that I do not play Faust in this game, I play Faust in another, and Faust 6H is a fact of life. A wonderful one. He still has 6H in the next game, right? Oh, uh, yeah. It looks a little bit different, but because everything looks a little bit different, but, um, you know. This fast has become a creepypasta. Yeah. Well, well, we're waiting for the next... Speaking of creep... Not at all speaking of creepypasta, um... Ooh, up next we have, a uh, Nuclear Cheese vs. Thello, a Boston Blue Bleak, uh, classic. Ooh, that's gonna be a blast. But I'm gonna spend... I'm gonna toss the Match Arena link in the chat to, um, have... Give anybody a little bit of a chance to hit that thing up and try and pump up our prize pool. We're Absolutely. currently sitting at a sick one hundred and thirty-four dollars and five cents. Uh, Shoutouts to everybody who has contributed, especially Dastrian, who came through with a big old seventy-five. That was sick. And yeah, everybody, get donating. Let's get get these pots big because we love to have you know we love to build this little community, this little tournament that we've got going on. And and, and the bigger you make this pot, the bigger pot will be in strife. Like, yeah, so they're just gonna, like, <laughs> physically it's just, bigger. Yeah, they're just gonna click on the little dot on the top right of pot and drag up while looking at the audience, like they're on the prices right. Alright, here we go. And we've Soul. got Silver's Justice, the, the story yeah. mode matchup, the Guilty Gear 1 final battle.
Ooh, got got that meat again playing. Love this song. Just yeah, I love meat again. One, meat again. one of the best songs in the soundtrack. Oof, this is going to be some some real fireworks, or maybe it'll be oh. this. Matchup so <laughs> hyped that the game explodes. Wow, I just jinxed the heck out of that, didn't I? All right, cool. Uh, well, we'll get nuclear cheese back in here, and everything will be okay. All right. Take two. Try that again. Level nine players back and forth on both sides. Fantastic. I don't actually know how rank levels work or whatever, but you know. You don't know how what works? Oh, levels? The, the levels. Like, oh, uh, those is are, it just like your green your circle rank versus rank. other stuff? And uh, That is your rank in ranked. No, uh, They all have fancy titles in ranked, but they are lev uh, but they are numbered levels. Uh, if can, you're playing. Oh. can it go below one? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you can't have a negative rank, Craig. I just want a sandbag. I'm going to play like whatever other character in rank that I've never played before and get to like negative 15. <laughs> just so I can have that on my thing forever. Uh, I forget what the cap is. I want to say 10. 10 would make sense. Dang, if that's the case, then these guys will... I think I'm I mean, like a 7 or an 8. <laughs> they're like Smash Brothers CPU levels. <laughs> it's like, you know, he's... Fellow is level nine, you know, just like very powerful. Dang, can't believe you got to beat three fellows to be good at the game. Yeah, yeah if you can't, <laughs> if you can't beat three level nine justices, then what are you even doing <laughs> on battlefield? You, the you platforms have, are very helpful. You have to beat uh, you have to beat five cruel elven shadows in order to unlock Sonic and Tails for use in Guilty Gear. Actually, yeah, you have That's to beat true. three elven shadows to unlock me in the game. All right, let's hope the lobby, you know, lobby difficulties are a fact of life with these tournaments, but hopefully this one will stick together. I like how they're both blue and white. Or I, I guess that. that's blue and light blue. Soul's got them jeans. Uh, Nuclear Cheese taking an early lead, getting fellow in the uh, fellow in the corner. Yeah. Not where Justice wants to be here. Look at those gun yeah. flames. All right, it uses the burst to avoid eating a sideline to loot, but eats another one anyway. Oh. Get the knockdown OTG Bandit Revolver. Yeah, Good block on the Volcanic Viper, but the punish is not that big. Yeah. Another VV. Nuclear Cheese. <laughs> Trying his damnedest to be American Kisoro. Yeah. Oh, appeared, to, quite appeared to block the first hit of that Grand Viper, perhaps with respecting an RC option, because got hit by the rest. Alright, well. Round Star Volcanic Viper would have it no other way. You know, if you're gonna get counter hit by Gunflame, I am being informed that levels go up to at least 15. Ooh, Ooh great use of the Valkyrie arc to counter the bandit. Oh dang, I just got a lot of Boom, headshot. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, use that burst immediately, but then gets hit right away. Oh dear. Uh, for those who don't have the ancient lore, Nuclear Cheese would uh, shout boom, headshot when doing Sidewinder loops in tournament in person like a decade ago. You could always tell when he was playing. Absolutely. Alright, we go through the Dragon install. What? Oh, the Imperial Ray, but the run up gold burst while in Dragon install is simply too powerful. <laughs> I can't. You hate to see it. Dra opened up in Dragon install, and then that Dragon install Volcanic Viper does a billion damage. Nuclear Cheese truly just going as wild as possible, and I respect it. Alright, Tello, just gotta. Gotta breathe after that one. Oh, oh, jeez. Uh, thank you for uh, giving us Vortex Infinitum instead of Holy Orders, JMD. Indeed. Uh, this song rules, unlike Holy Orders question mark, which uh, hurts my ears. All right. Very good, Michael Thor, to start things off. Just try to slow the pace down a bit. Is what got to be Fellow's goal here. But gets it to be all in JH. Here we go again. All right. Good use of the DP. Not the greatest DP in the world, but we'll. Sometimes give you some space. All right, you know, oh, an early life lead. Oh, but there's the knockdown in the corner that Cheese was looking for. Nice Good dead angle. Dead Again, just trying to buy some space. Great manual detonation on the nuke. Again, just like anything that Fellow can do to stop sign the momentum here will help. Ooh, but get hit out of the air by Bandit Bringer. So much meter on Cheese's side. 
Absolutely. Who knows if we'll see another dragon in tall. Boom headshot. Instead, shot. we're going to see a Boom bunch of sidewinders. Boom headshot. Enough meter to force a lot of clean hits if you want to. Going for that throw bait there. And a nice counter. counter. This should, should be kill. the end. Oh, Ooh. got a burst. Would have been interesting Drop because I believe that in that oh, situation. Oh, Drop the combo no. again, but so many gun stuff all over the place. Would have been interesting if that 6H had led into a Imperial Ray, because I believe that is unmerciful and would kill. But tough to get. Oh boy, oh, and the 5D. Oh, is this the impossible dust? Be a lot of damage, combo. Goes to the band of revolver oh, loot, but drops the combo. But still, nuclear G is at a sizable life leap here. Fellow's yeah. gonna gonna really need to uh, to buckle down to take this round. All right, superior to get a hit. Oh, but gets volcanic fireball. Looks like a hard slash. And oh, that's gonna. Oh, I thought that was actually gonna punish the first. Yeah, that was. I mean, as fortunate as something can be when you're in the position that Tello's currently in, gotta make something happen without a lot of meter. And one that's more real tough. Tello's dead, Ooh. but oh, this is gonna start things. This is a pile this of damage. definitely hurts. Oh, Ooh, but the tech JK. JK. Nuclear cheese takes it over, uh, Tello. Wow. That was outstanding. Nuclear cheese brought a lot of exciting stuff to that match. And, you know, Tello, in game two, was definitely made the adjustments to, like, start, slow the pace down, get some good nuke placements and explosions to make things work, but then just you can't keep the clear cheese down for long. That's fun. And up next we have, as I look at this, Skeletal Minion versus Garbage. Uh, Garbage, I believe an Order Soul player and Skeletal Minion, as we've uh, seen before, is an ABBA player. Yes, indeed is the ABBA player in the country. Indeed. Alright, let's see where we're I'm just taking a look around other places in the bracket just for some fun. Let's see where we're at. Oh. oh, and we've got both of our players here. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> Nearly 7,000 games between the two of them. Nope, more than 7,000. I'm bad at counting. <laughs> Skeletal Minion continuing to just break the UI with all these <laughs> games. Really want to see what 10,000 looks like. Yeah, someday, like, sometime we're going to get it. It's going to be great. By the time Strive comes out, we'll have seen it. <laughs> I think I just all broke right. three, or just broke 4,000 myself. Here we so. go. <laughs> all right. So, I mean... There's that all. Order Sol, one of Order Soul's de like defining characteristics, other than you know the charge mechanics, is a lot of sh somewhat stubbier normals. So you have to get into key grab range to really do damage. This is gonna be scary. Yep. Oh, but there's the knockdown. There's the transformation, and uh, now Abba's gonna gonna do Abba things. All right. Now, as per usual, garbage gonna be on the. On the knockdown search, gets one. Gets Ooh, one. Oh, but this is probably the transformation back. Yep. Yes, indeed. Skeletal minion gets all that health back. With key grab, gets punished, but not super hard. But the uh, health, the health disparity isn't that big. Blood pack and then immediate Goku activation. I mean, Absolutely. at this point, one Goku. hit may well just do it. So might as well Goku right away to get all the damage. Oh, gets knocked down. One more knockdown. Oh, but Order Soul does not have an IK, and this is going to transform back. And Skull's yeah. gonna get gets all that health back. back. Command dash gets transformed again. Get a quick heal, oh, and, and then do it. Yeah. Wow, great stuff by Skeletal Minion, but, you know, Garbage is getting some knockdowns. Definitely seems to have an understanding of the matchup, just needs to get a little bit more execution and deal with such a capable player. Alright, good pressure. Absolutely. Skeletal Minion swinging that 6-H. Oh, now we've got uh, Maraha's far slash. Very disjointed button, incredible poke. Great oh, block to Garbage, no to activate it. Card it's it's counter hit! Ooh, combo drops. Nice oh. gun plays to switch sides and get some big damage, but not a knockdown. Absolutely, garbage at a substantial life lead, but uh, we're probably going to see Skeletal Minion transform back. Yeah, need oh. to use that blood pack. Get a lot of health back, but out of blood packs for this round, so we're going to have to do any more transformations, to be honest way, like this. Absolutely. Oh, there's that counter hit. This could kill. I don't think it will. I don't think it oh. will, but one more hit certainly will. Not enough meter to activate Goku, but Donzai...
Ooh, what a throw! All right, garbage. What do you got? There's we a punch on Skeleton. Will it be spent? Hell out of that. Oh, yeah, you know. and garbage takes the round over Skeletal menu. Nice. Skeletal holds on to the burst. Potentially could have, you know, gone for the Cali burst style, try to save the life, but did not. All right, he grab, Maroha, corner, everything that Skeletal can want already in play. Absolutely gets opened up by the oh, Ooh, a great grab throw. First, walkable. Yeah, this brutal stuff. Are we gonna oh. another air throw out of the tech? I just grabbed me in it. And this will do it. Scoop that burst. Wow, what a commanding round three. After garbage, you know, put on a performance in that second round and took it, but then Skeleton went into shutting the door on that game. Wow. Alright. Background music set to random, always fun. Get to see what cool stuff we get. Especially when some of the stuff is swapped out. Birthday train. Nope. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Birthday train question mark. Robo Elf Elf theme. Gross. <laughs> Alright. Got a couple yeah, of uncomfortable. Just stray hits. What if I told you that one of the songs is Birthday Train? That would be exciting. Is it though? I'm not gonna tell <laughs> you which it? one. But it's one of them. The key grab is in effect. So it could happen. Alright, I'm very excited now. Uh, everyone who's on stream, please keep picking different songs so that we get Birthday Train. <laughs> Alright, Garbage getting some hits, but no, not big on the knockdown count yet. And of course, Skeletal has plenty of meter to activate Goku if needed to keep the meter up. Or Absolutely. to oh, this murder is you. Oh, ton of damage. Oh, oh look at all this. this! There's the unblock, oh, oh, text out, there's the throw, and Skeletal menu now one round away from taking it over Garbage. Wow. So much damage. Crank Absolutely. the guard bar, transform, and go completely ham. Oh, dash underneath rocket. And he gets transformed into the corner. Alright, garbage, what do you got? Not a lot of not a lot of charge, not a lot of meter. Your opponent has your meter activated. You are in trouble. Gonna have to use this burst carefully. Coast to coast. Oh. And Good gets burst. out. Gun plays <laughs> hit. Jumps over the crouching hoss. Avoid everything as much as possible. Dang, character we're, we're, we're on Guilty Gear XX intro style dodging. Ooh. Alright, oh, the Moroha transformation. Lots of meter, but Donzai well, will Skeletal kill you. Minion takes it over garbage. Wow. Whew. Abba is so terrifying. Just can go from, t from 0 to 50% damage. <laughs> it's just so fast. Whew. Yeah, the Abba command slide or command slide dash thing can be can be difficult to deal with. And then if you use the force break version, its invulnerability is just massive. So there's uh, definitely that to deal with. All right, so we are running the rest of round three winners on bracket. So I believe we have FGC Stone versus uh, Jackie Sparkles next. Yes, we do. As a uh, Tyler Perry laugh track is Jackie Sparkles. Johnny versus May. All right. This there's some dissension within the Jellyfish Pirates. I don't think that could conceivably happen. <laughs> I can't imagine it could, but here we are. Yo, give me the rest of the Jellyfish Pirates and Strive. As one of those, like, assist call characters. If you, had, yeah, if, if you had to pick one of the pirates that can show up in the background of Mayship to be a playable Janice. character, which would it be? I don't know their names. Which one is that? <laughs> uh, Janice is the cat. Oh. I, the wanted, hat. I want the, the one that's, like, waving a golf club around. I don't know which one that is. I just know their names. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the two of us. All right, here we go. This is unfortunately information I've looked up enough times that it has cemented itself in my head. Leap is the grandma, by the way. Great. Do they have a customer? Yes. This is great. Love letting custom intros rock when they're not Soul Kai. Yeah, that's great. Good job, guys. Oh, there's right. the J2H. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of, you know, use of May's strong air normals by Jackie. They definitely love doing that. Absolutely. There's that 6H swinging. Ooh, tried 6B, but the Dolphin oh, evades it. That was a command throw attempt. Uh, plus R and only plus R. May's command throw has been changed from a from a four-frame uh, command throw to a running bear 
grab style move. Yeah, it's got the gets throw in the corner. Drop down with two H. Don't get that a dodge. Get that in Kasu. Uh, he used the jackhound, gets the hit. Ooh, but gets any air. Both characters relatively low life. Oh, and there's the Whoa. There's the Orca Super. That definitely looked really interesting. Yeah, it wall bounces on every hit now. It's also a uh, hyper armor the whole way through. Incredible. Alright, one more hit will do it for Jackie, but Oh, oh. Vertical Dolphin. Vertical Dolphin out of I forget what that move is called. Uh Mr. Dolphin Vertical. No, I mean the the move that Johnny got hit out of. It's not Zweihander, it's something else. Oh whatever. Uh, Divine Cheese Stick. Yes. He got hit out of cheese stick. Mozzarella stick. Ooh, gets hit out uh, of the up also. Johnny wanted wanting to make sure that everybody's got a mozzarella stick. What a Ooh, nice air throw by Stone. Good air throw. Johnny, such a such a cool character. Dash through so the high coin will hit as well. Fantastic stuff by Stone here. There's the Inkasu gets the knockdown. FGC starting Ooh. at a sizable life lead. Wish the gold burst though, so perhaps an opportunity. Evades that running bear grab. FG FGC saying he knows he's down around, but he doesn't need that burst. Absolutely not. Goes for some six Ps, drops the mozzarella, but into the fine blade. Both players swinging. Absolutely. Just who goes for the what's my name, but does not hit. All right. Throw in the corner. This could be bad. Ooh, good air throw. Oh, there's the Bacchus side. This finder's unblockable now. Oh, drops the combo, but uh, there's no such thing as a drop combo. That was a happy little reset. Yeah, absolutely. Like a whiff jackhound. Johnny's still right in your face. You gotta deal with that. Yo, shout out to Blue Knight. Oh, absolutely. Oh, tries to 6P predictably, but gets Dolphin. Alright. Ooh, another great air throw. Great air throws by FTC Stone for that. Stone is bringing the air throw game. Gets that in Kasu. Oh! Right, another jack count, but Drops corners the themselves, so that's a little tricky. Uh, when Johnny does that Divine Blade FRC that you saw him do there, he actually resets all of his air options, and it is a big part of what lets the character be so mobile. Alright, time for Yamada. Evaded. There's Lots of. Stuff. Lots of resources for stone. Plenty of plenty of chump change. Plenty Lots of meter. Of gonna hurt. Whoa, that went not in the direction it looked like it should have. Ooh, Ooh and that burst is gonna it's kill so you. So hard to burst Johnny. Yeah, the long, long range on so many of Johnny's options means bursting against this character is a nightmare. A nightmare that unfortunately cost Jackie, well, the last bit of that that game. Absolutely. Great stuff, though. And definitely some back and forth stuff, and obviously such explosive characters. Man, Johnny can both just do. Absurd damage, given the opportunity. Yes, pick Bishop. I want to see the... Oh. Uh, oh, well, okay. We get Mario and Luigi as a nice... A nice backup prize from, you know, getting to see oh, all the wonderful jelly. Did we got fire. Mario and Luigi? Yeah, yeah, we got Mario and Luigi. We got that Avshi, another one of my favorite Guilty Gear songs. Sure. We're going to let this intro rock again. Yes. I love it. I wonder what Mario and Luigi are doing. They're definitely hiding a the body there, right? Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, we got some oh. good staring contest here because you know nobody wants to get counter hit here because that will spell damage. And speaking of, there it is. Absolutely. Oh, there's that gets counter hit jumping. Yeah. Way less damage than it could have done, but uh, oh, big nice one. Now there's the Encaster. Can confirm on the six. The six FTC is well. just walking forward. Absolutely, and yeah, oh, another counter hit 6B and another big convert. Let Stone him. just... <laughs> Throwing at those 6Ps to beat the, or to beat the Dolphins. Yeah, just absolutely. Trying to let Stone. Jackie Sparkles, uh... Absolutely, ha yeah, absolutely happy to let... To see if Jackie can deal with 6B. Because it's a heck of an option. It Ooh. is. Oh, Jack on the Jack Dolphin. Oof, yeah, with so much meter on, on Johnny's side there, there were so many options to work with. Oh no! Six takes to the sky, but finds the coin that was thrown up into the air, and that's not what you want. All right, all right, taking a different approach, trying to summon some long-range dolphins, but that six K gets Johnny right in your face. Get some damage. Ooh, with the uh, six H, I want to say that was. <laughs> wow! Using the dolphin to barely just go over the six B and hit Johnny in the back. Maze rest of rolling got a substantial buff in plus R. I think this is the only version of the game that that move is any good. And she lost it, Maxer. 
Rusty. Honestly, what even is Rust of Rolling? Yeah, the swing in those six H's on counter hit, that move will kill you. Yeah. Ooh, and Jackhound RC to get the stick open up. This could and be this it. Will kill. Unbelievable. And FGC Stone takes it over uh, Tyler Perry left track. And up next, we've got Elven Shadow vs. Lem, Cliff vs. Uh, Faust. Cliff, a character that you will only find in this game. Uh, Faust, a character you'll find in every Guilty Gear, and Elven Shadow will be there playing them. Absolutely. I appreciate that. But yeah. And I also appreciate everybody donating to the Match Arena, of course. Yeah, thank you everybody for donating and honestly just helping these tournaments grow. We get regularly more than 20 people every week. Does my heart good to see this many people playing Plus R. There's that Vortex Infinitum. Oh yeah, here we go. Alright. So I mean, obviously big, big normals on Cliff's side and just vomits damage if you get hit, but... Absolutely. Not the most mobile character, so can be kept at bay with all of. Uh, no, Cliff, it, Cliff, like uh, Slayer and Johnny, has a has a step dash instead of a normal dash, yeah. and Ooh. has that that nape saddle to you know move across the screen. But if Elvin uh, is ready for it, as they've. But Cliff, easy to uh, stun and stuns himself with some of his own moves. Gets stunned right there. Speaking Elvin Shadow is going to kill him. There it is. Wow. And Elvin Shadow takes the first round rather commandingly. Definitely yeah. had had his nape saddle punishes uh, on point. Yeah, just JH right one. out of it. Yeah, that's absolutely like, I mean, job one in this matchup pretty much. If you want to keep your distance, punishing that, and Elvin's got that on lock. Oh, get the good knockdown. Throws an item. Six H. You got to deal with the poison and the bomb bag. <laughs> Cliff just standing under the scalpel. Oof, Cliff two K'd out of the nape saddle. Out. Gross. Oh, and another stun. <laughs> While hitting Faust, gets hit by the mini and stunned. That's brutal. Alright, here's an opportunity though. Under the 5k, Cliff low profiles like nobody's business. Ooh, but gets air thrown out of the pressure. Oh, and there meteors was a bomb. Meteors and, and a meteor. bomb? That's bad news. Oh! And the meteor tags him a little too early. Or the, a little the too early saddle, on the just saddle. a tiny bit out of, out of timing and gets killed by the meteors. That's brutal. But there was definitely signs of life there from Lem, you know. And Cliff, again, so such a high damage character that anything can happen here. One or two hits. All right, here we go. Both players giving each other a little bit of space at round start. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, imagine Lem. Lem's going to be wanting to play a little more patiently this round. Well, but uh, then after get the getting stunned twice last round. Ooh, but Lem has now gotten in got, that uh, got that order. that little Ooh, fried egg that uh that Cliff likes to throw is plus three on block at a minimum, up to like plus thirty something. Ooh, swept out of the six eight and gets hit with a five D. Ooh, Cliff's five Cliff's five D notoriously difficult to uh to actually see coming because the startup animation on it looks very similar to his just crouching animation. Yeah, absolutely. And great pressure here. Elven Shadow getting the heck out of there. Oh, he gets the J2K. Uh, Lem right. was at a sizable life lead, but Elven but Shadow yeah. bringing it back. And there's got to be getting pretty close to stun here. Ooh, the, <laughs> the meteors Elven are Shadow all you need out of that. Life lead with the food. And now uh, Elven Shadow firmly in control. Ooh, and a bomb is a really brutal option for Cliff to deal with because, you know, not having a lot of movement and Nape Saddle will put you right in the bomb's range. Tough to see. Everything was going up, or was coming up Latin for most of that match, but uh, all Elven Shadow needed was the one the, the one way in. And it's thrown right in the corner, around. though, and another 5D. But not Ooh, a drop dust combo. Yeah, not a big combo after it. You have to imagine Lem is... Lem is like, uh... It is a little bit stressed out by this game. Absolutely. Alright, you got, got Elvin really low, uses the dodge chop, throw it into oh, the corner. This should be it. 
and Lem mm. takes a round, keeping themselves in the uh, in the event. Or it's in the, the winner's side of the event. Big ol' damage. Yes, this is right. winner's bracket, so uh, both players will still be in the tournament, no matter who wins. Ooh, had to cut that combo short to get up with the bomb. Almost looked like he was trying to combo into the bomb, which would have been quite, quite oh, hype. Heck yeah. Alright, just a lot of donuts, but that is keeping Elvin at full life, and the bomb keeping Cliff stuck in place. Sniping, sniping with that JH. Active oh, life lead the and the stun. <laughs> you could have killed him! There you go. <laughs> Does the super, gets the angel. That was incredible. I'm glad Outstanding. We that. Yeah, that was outstanding. You know? You... Oof, that was, out that, was some <laughs> that was some cool stuff. I mean, that, that was Lem great. definitely got a chance to show off just how much, how high cliff damage output can be. But also the struggles in that matchup are real. Oh hey, our uh, Macharino is now over a hundred and fifty dollars for this event at a hundred and fifty dollars and seventy four cents, as I can see it right now. Thank you all for your contributions. That's fantastic. Yeah, thanks everyone for uh, for for throwing money in the Macharino and for for entering these events. Uh, and we do have Blaze Blue tomorrow at uh, six o'clock Eastern six time. I Thank believe. you so much. I forget every week, and <laughs> I shouldn't. It's all good. We just appreciate everybody coming through to watch, to support, to play, everything, whatever you're doing. Tell your friends about how awesome Plus R is, how awesome Guilty Gear is. This game's sick. It is. <sighs> and, uh, hey, in in a week and a little change, we've got, we've got a Strive beta coming up. And I absolutely cannot announce anything, but if it is possible to, you know, play against the person you want to play against and do some kind of organized thing, we might try to throw something, we're going to try and throw something together. I have no idea how possible it'll be or what we're going to do, but I want to, so there's that. Gosh, I hope that there are, like, normal player lobbies. We'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> All Absolutely. Right, no longer live. Yeah, oh, okay. we're gonna, yeah I'm oh, going to no. chill for a bit. I'm going to grab a drink so I can keep shouting at you guys for the rest of the evening. Absolutely. Going to grab a drink and use the bathroom. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Cheers.
Alright, and we are back to uh to do commentary for top eight of uh Boston Bluebeat two point six. We got our, our top eight winners matches coming up. This little preview of some fun that we've got. We've got Elven Shadow versus FTC Stone on one one match and Skeletal Minion versus Nuclear Cheese on the other. Both Absolutely. fantastic, fantastic matches, I am sure. There's some excellent players. And I'm excited to see all of these folks go at it. Absolutely, we got ourselves some Faust, we got ourselves some Johnny, some Ava, some Soul. Got a d diverse top four, and we'll see what the rest of top eight looks like. Yeah, you know, the top eight loser side is still flowing, they're still filling up a little bit, so we'll see how that all comes together, but... I think, I think, uh, Faust is the only character that we have any chance of seeing a double of. Yeah, I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, looking at it, we have two Faust in top eight, so that's cool. Cyan yes. holding it down on the set. Shoutouts to Cyan Plaza. Absolutely. But for now, we've got a different Faust to talk about. Elven Shadow versus FGC Stone. Absolutely. Johnny versus Faust. Both characters with very large buttons. Oh, and it looks like we are going into this. Fast first, uh, fast first, Johnny. Let's see the stage. Let's see the song pick. As we all know, equally as important as the characters on the screen. All right, uh, uh, do uh, this. Uh. Get my stuff back in order, so we're ready to go. Oh, we got that meet again. We're fighting on heaven. Uh, the announcer does make it clear the only two sto stage choices are heaven or hell. Let's rock. Oh. Help and Shadow jumping back. Oh, we got a bomb! Doesn't quite combo into it. Get the OTG. Hack and slash. Nice. Meteors! Oh, Everything is coming up. Elven of there. Shadow. Ooh, countered by Meteors. Elven Shadow with a huge life lead. Throwing that poison. Ooh, gets a copy. Nice counter to deal with the scalpel pole. Ooh, avoid the high coin. Great, great use of the overground. Knockdown scalpel. We got a bomb. I don't think it's going to come off, it did not. Love, and there's a throw, and Elder Shadow takes the first round. Throw some candy on your dead body. Let's see if you can get them. Gets a knockdown, trades with the coin. I wonder whose favor that's going to end up being. I'm sure Johnny will take a round start coin trade with most things, because that's the reward you get for leveling up Myth Miner right there. Ooh, but Forts just back away into the corner. Ooh, Wisp the Divide played, and now Elven Shadow's got FTC Stone in the corner. Yep, Gonna see exactly. a combo. Here's a oh, knockdown. Throw some light on. Hit low. He tried to JH out of the deck. First out of the force break. Pogo. Ooh, that's a lot of damage in three hits. Look at those items. Look at all that candy. And Will Robo Faust showing himself here. Dead angles out, not have to deal with it. Backdash, trying to get the coins. I want to say Robo Faust, or uh, sorry, Robo Kai, not Robo Faust. Uh, no. I want to say Robo Kai is one of the only characters we haven't seen in all top eight for our events. Someday though, Spooky's here. You know, <laughs> Spooky will be around. Character with a seven game, frame overhead. Game one to Elven Shadow, but all right, Stone running right back into it. Going yeah, to Russia. Like Maybe there'll be an alien. Who knows? Is this the alien stage? Sure. Yes, we've okay. learned. If we yeah. all know, great if you effort. see the alien on a Twitch stream, you don't get a theme achievement for it. So there's that. <laughs> but you will have seen an alien, which is adorable. Which is cool. Yeah. All right. This song. This song does rip. Absolutely. Another coin trade. So. Ooh, gets the six. Miner is bubbled up. Yeah. Uh, kind of burst out of getting smacked by a six stage for sure. Oof. And just getting scalpeled out of the air. Elven Shadow running in. Ooh, gets that counter hit J2K. This is going to be a little chunk of damage. Absolutely gets hit low again. Togo to the corner, going my way. What do you got? Another Meteors. That's everything oh, coming up, Elven oh, Shadow. Absolutely. Are we going to see a perfect? Oh. Not quite. Nope. Buttoned out. Get the coin as well. Level 3 Mistfinder. But FGC Stone is going to have to uh, make some things happen if he wants to win this round. And he gets hit by the far slash. And another item super for you. Look at all that, all those friends that were there to celebrate that <laughs> all round. All those little there. Fausts. All right, another meteor. I mean, FGC Stone cannot be happy with all these stones falling out of the sky for sure. <laughs> Going my way, punish. All right, there you go. Nice punish. Chunk of damage. Get, 
gets that uh Insanga. Deal with the mini Robokai. Ooh, does not. All right, we get uh, another item in the sky. I am not great at seeing which one's coming out. Blocks so many lows and gets rewarded, throwing Elvin back into the corner. Absolutely, FGC Stone sitting at a bit of a life lead. Yeah, but Faust having burst and a ton of meter, so I mean, can just pollute the screen with nonsense if Elvin Shadow so desires. Or Absolutely. use Force Break Pogo, which is a heck of an option. Oh, gets poisoned. That's gonna just start ticking away that life advantage and gets thrown into the corner. Ooh, and combo off the Oh, with the poison, that's gonna do a fair bit of damage. Absolutely, that might be a. Oh, Elven Shadow now has FGC Stone right where he wants. Oh, oh. nice blocks. There's the He's hack. Unblockable. Great stuff. Absolutely. Why are there airplanes? Ha oh, yeah. Ricochet. <laughs> yes. I will never like remember that. Oh, yeah, why are there nooms? It's because this song reps, but that's that's going to be the set to Elven Shadow. You know, Stone definitely put on some, got some damage in there, made some stuff that made some made some adjustments in game two, but not quite enough. Absolutely, and uh, FGC Stone that was the winner side, so we'll still be in the bracket. Right. Oh, Up next, very good. Skeletal Minion versus Nuclear Cheese. Another Boston Blue Beat, uh, Blue Beat standard. These two have played each other quite a few times. Uh, I do believe Skeletal Minion has come up ahead every time so far, but uh, Nuclear Cheese is a player you can never count out. Absolutely. He's going to okay. roll those dice, and uh, someday it's going to come up heads every time for him. I mean, yeah, and I mean, you know, if somebody wants to get some knockdowns, Force, force some Moroha mode to end, maybe get some IKs, whatever you got. Nuclear Cheese could be the player to do that. Absolutely. I imagine. Uh, actually, I'm going to call it right now. We're going to see a Round Star Grand Viper. Round Star Grand Viper. Yeah, that, I mean, Skeletal Minion may well be aware of that, and we might see some command dashes to try and navigate that. I don't remember how the invulnerability on that works. Only Tails, if you want to make that a real bet, I'll put five extra dollars in the Macharino if he doesn't. Mm, I do you not mean, want to do that thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. You have you have called my bluff. Um. All right. Yeah. If we get a, I'll I'll do it. All, all right. right. All right. <laughs> Which one of Wait, us am, I on, am I on team yes or team no? You're I think I'm yes. on team yes. Yeah, you're on team okay. yes. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. No, Brown Star back dash. Alright, five I mean, bucks. Glad I did not lose money. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna let it ride. Yeah. I'm gonna keep going. I'll do it every round here. Perfect. Shout outs to my uh, co commentator. Here we go. Throwing money in the, in the, in the corner. Loading him up. Oh, and an air throw, and there's we can... Tech trap. Alright, there's Vol Volcanic Viper. <laughs> there's a Grand Viper. Oh. Are you gonna get knocked into the other corner? Goku's activated? Are you just dead? This is very late in the combo. Not quite dead. But after that... Is that unblockable setup? Gross. Super jump. There's the guard. Right. Viper. Oh. If she's I'm gonna need you to start using some ground start grand vipers. I have I'm going to go broke here. <laughs> <laughs> the sidewinder loop though, bringing the hell of damage. A lot of damage. Nuclear she's standing at a pretty large life lead, but here's the Moroha mode. Yeah, but for how long? The grab into the Ooh, key grab. Good riot stamp, riot stamp, 14 frames in this game. You can do it from the corner. Quite fast. Not a knockdown though. Oh, but there's that one, one is though. Alright, and a wild throw. Here's the second one. knockdown. Sidewinders. Yep, there Big it is. Big damage, there it is. Goku oh, to reset the meter off. and gets the stagger. Ooh, looks like that might have been looking for a burst. Nice back. <laughs> back dash, but still damage, gets caught like. by the tyrant ray. Wow. Uh -huh. Nuclear cheese, you are killing me. <laughs> Alright, uh. <laughs> <laughs> My dude's about to be out 30 bucks by the end of this, <laughs> if not more! Ooh, well, Oof, the Don that I catch is out of the air dash. Now I want this to be a 2-1 set. In some direction. Right. Gets knocked down, gets a low in the corner, gets... Oh, oh. thrown out of the wreck of though! Great, right. no, 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 there's a Grand Viper, but... Ooh, Goku gets Goku. You cannot go under that, I've seen the hitbox for that move, it's basically a burst. 
Oh. Yes, and what? Here it yes. goes. Delta Minion takes the first game. All right. So yeah, I'm um out a lot of money or, or out a little bit of scratch already. Yeah, you're up fifteen <laughs> bucks. Yeah, you know, whatever. That's it's one bowl of good. ramen at Yume Wakatare. Oh. Forty-five dollars is the highest amount of money that you could be out. I haven't been to uh, Yume, Yume in far too long. Pandemic is it, it affects all of us in different ways, and that is one of the ways that it has affected me. All, all right, right, here we go. Game two. Go. Nuclear cheese. <laughs> Super jumping. Out twenty bucks now. <laughs> Nuclear cheese is making me spend so much money. <laughs> I cannot believe you took that bet. Yeah, I can't believe you took that bet. The odds were so bad for you. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> but now we. Well, have Command Dash is the gun flame. Nuclear cheese sitting in a perfect life right now. Right where he wants to be. The 5 T whiff. There's a Grand Viper. Riot Stamp. I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun with this man. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, but oh, now we've boy. got the Moroha mode, so uh, any yeah. life that we do have could disappear. There's another knockdown. Oh, oh, great Annie here from Skeletal. Nuclear Chief is trying to do that uh, that side swa swap uh, Sidewinder. And there's one knockdown. Nuclear Chief's still at the life lead, but yeah, I imagine we're going to see Goku, Goku soon. Yeah. There it is. Oh, but still gets counter hit by the gun flame, and you're dead. Nuclear Dang. Chief takes the round. Twenty-five dollars. Please. <laughs> Please, I have a fam. <laughs> All right, Nuclear Chief gets, gets the knockdown. Let's go for minion. Oh, six heavy. That's gonna be like half of my or half of Cheese's stun. Ooh, yeah, this it's adding up. Donzai. Gonna go to the corner. Yep, there's that flashing stun bar. Ooh, drops the Sidewinder loop. Donzai oh. did not have to deal with gun flame. Goku activation. This is gonna suck. This is gonna stun. I think this is it. Run up. Yeah, oh, it gets we're getting a burst here. Gets counter hit. Jeez, wants to get this round. Well, force break Donzai is blocked. Absolutely, both players really low health. Ooh, and that's gonna do yeah, it. It's going from being now one round away from beating Nuclear Cheese. Do we get adding point? another round to this set? Ooh, <laughs> thirty dollars. Oh, me and my big mouth. All right. I will split this with you at this point. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> nice impossible dust combo, perhaps. Boom headshot. Sidewinder. Boom headshot. Oh, up in there. Ooh, and tech into another knockdown. Half of Abba's Ooh. life gone. And. Conversion off the counter hit Volcanic Viper. Nuclear Cheese looking pretty good this round, but uh, let's see how long it lasts here. It's Goku Raha activation. activation. Absolutely, and a lot of that life is about to get erased. Absolutely. Oh, good block. Oh, but there's a throw. I think it's that's going to do it. No. I, I thought yes, it's the bar slash to Nuclear Cheese to unlock it. more rounds in which I can spend <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm never, ever betting on it. If anybody ever wondered why I don't gamble, um, it's because every time I do, I, can, I take a fucking I, bath. I guarantee you that a part of it is he heard us say this, like, on stream and is now committed. That that almost almost certainly happened because Cheese frequently messages me about things I say on the stream. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, right, so well, 35, <laughs> 35 bucks, all right. Ooh, this is a good round start for Skeletal. Gets that early Moroha and puts Cheese in the corner. Counter hit Donzai. This is going to be a grip of damage. Ooh, and ooh, ooh. the orb. Beautiful overhead, too. This is this is an ABBA round. And Goku, Goku activation. Range. You're getting blown the hell up. Goes for the unlockable. Yep. Wow. Nice the round. Skeletal minion, I believe, yeah. only taking damage from himself. Absolutely. Wow. Just commanding. All right. Come on, man. <laughs> Forty dollars. <laughs> now we got a knockdown in the other direction. All right, Moroha activated. There's a knockdown. Though. First one. All right. I oh, think the players are colluding. <laughs> <laughs> wow! As far away as the right step could possibly be. Love to see it. Goku to reset the room. Get six, back eight, to the sixth stage. Oh, uh, wild. Ooh, Ooh, but gets hit by the Donzai. This is gonna, this is gonna hurt a lot. Yes, but oh, not gonna kill. One more hit, absolutely will though. Tyrant Rave doesn't hit. Oh, and <laughs> I'm not even gonna pretend to know what that super is called. 
Uh, ooh, I did know what that super was called at some point. I forgot it, unfortunately. Yep. All of Abba's right names were, to get the heck out of Dodge. All of Abba's move names are just weird one-word things, like Dishonor or whatever. Oh, oh and, and Skeletal Minion taking a round to prevent me from spending Skeletal more Minion. money. Skeletal Minion beats Nuclear Cheese 2-1, and Craig is out $40. And, uh, I'm a man of my word. I, uh, need to stop. I'm just gonna vamp for time and continue to talk as I do this for some reason. Absolutely. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Anyway, the name of that super that ABBA has, that she just did, is called Destruction. Uh, and then there's some other stuff, and I don't quite know how to read this. There you go. Uh, well, thank you, um, Nuclear Cheese. Uh, the Macherino is now up to $190.74. Absolutely. Thank you, Nuclear Cheese. Uh, I'm going to inform Nuclear Cheese of this, just in case he didn't know. Let's all remember that time Nuclear Cheese put $250 into the Neo bracket, because he felt that he was going to place high enough that he would win it, if not more back, and then absolutely did just that. <laughs> absolutely outstanding. I think by the, by the end of that, by the end of the time, <laughs> that the pot was so uh, big that the payout for Cheese was, in fact, exactly $250. <laughs> uh, awesome. Nuclear Cheese, by the way, was unaware of this. <laughs> well, um, I cannot say that this is... I'm actually now thinking, I'm wondering if this is the most money that my mouth has cost me in my 30 plus years of life. It's probably not. Um, it almost certainly isn't, actually. But, you know, it's going to a good cause, which is growing this growing this pot and hopefully growing the scene just a little bit more. I think Absolutely. it's definitely so the most you money you've lost gambling in a, in a like, five to ten minute span, I would say. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so does this hold true for every nuclear cheese match on stream? Absolutely no. not. <laughs> and Vortex and Finn again, because uh, Lem will pick Holy Order's question mark if you let them. But we are blessed with a much, much, much better song. Yes, a song that doesn't actually give me a real headache. Uh, Cyan Plaza, I do not know how familiar they are with the uh, cliff matchup. I don't know if I've played my cliff against them. Oh, you're gonna have to. Absolutely. Uh, but Cyan Plaza doing, doing foul stuff. Definitely looks like they know what they're doing here. Got a pretty substantial life lead. There's a bomb. No one gets hit by it. Ooh, a hammer. That 5k anti-air, that is, that is Faust's airspace. Yeah, and Lem just having to deal with both of the oh, Faust we have in this bracket. off the bomb into love. Incredible. Outstanding. Cyan Plus takes the first round, throwing that love out. Ooh, gets hit by, uh, Cliff does have some sizable buttons. I mean, you know, if Lem has to has to deal with all of these fouls. Eventually, we're going to have to deal with the most powerful anti foul Cliff on the planet. Dodge is through the 6-H. That was radical. Yep. Uh, Cliff's dodge does increase their own stun a bit and will break his back if his stun is too high. But it is a fully strike in move. You have to throw it. Ooh, there's the counter hit door into the conversion. Cyan Claws is sitting at a life lead. Ooh, but good burst. burst that was going to yeah, be a burst terrific damage. Sure. Well, gets trades with the 6-H, which... Ooh. Oh, and yeah, there's the there's stun, the and that's going to do it. Sign Plaza takes the first game of this, 1-0. Oof, if, if Lem gets double jeopardied by the two two different Fausts in this bracket. That's, <laughs> you know, them is the break sometimes. Okay, but if you're going to get double jeopardied by a, by a character, doesn't it fit the most for it to be Faust? Yeah, and I mean, plus our Faust, the heck of a character. Both of the Fausts that playing against that we get, we're blessed to have around. Heck of players. Also, Lem, not out of it yet. Let's Absolutely see. Absolutely not. Uh, Cyan Plaza, though, uh, a trading partner of mine, so I am definitely uh, rooting for them. But... Round Star Pogo. Round Star Pogo Locked. throwing some hammers. Nice air throw by Cliff here. Ooh, but not quite in range for the 5D to hit. The bomb Absolutely. is in play. Pookie, or 2K anti air. Throws a bomb. Very nearly dives into that bomb, but does not. All right, Ooh, here we this go. This is going to be a grip of damage. Corner. First Good out. Best. Force break door is blocked, but what is force break door yeah. block? I have no idea. Get the idea. heck out of the corner is what it's gonna do here. Nice little overhead. Good there. fuzzy. 
Lamson dodges a large life lead. This dodges is the overhead again. Do it. Yeah, avoiding yep. the, you know, you add to your stun with that dodge, but if it wins you the round, it does not matter. Backdash for both players. Good Another air throw. By Lem. Lem bringing the air throw game. Lem definitely looks like they've adjusted to this matchup. Uh, by the way, Force Break Door is... Minus 17 on block. Very punishable. Okay. Absolutely. Nice counter hit. Oh, no. Hit by the damage. corner. Yeah, and the fourth break shop. This has got to be a pretty high stun. Good burst. Already. Uh, but the stun bar is not flashing. Yeah. So there's a little leeway there. Yeah. Uh, for those right. those of you who do not know, uh, the little character portraits next to the health bar will flash red if a character is very close to stun. Right. Ooh, the big 5D, but not Ooh, a combo afterwards. Combo. That could have been it. Both characters, one solid hit away from uh, from death. Love hitting both of them. Throwing that... Uh, something. Yeah, more. I don't think I knew until right now that that dragon super seems to have the same sound effect as Tyrant Rave. And yeah, you're dead. Incredible. The dragon teeth gives Lem the next game. Yep. And we are now 1-1, Cyan Plaza and Lem, fighting to stay in this top 8 on the loser side. We keep going to Grave. Yeah, I mean, Grave's a cool stage. And I mean, Cliff is dead, so if you're going to have to fight Cliff, you might as well have to fight Cliff in the Grave, right? <laughs> what? Keep getting Vortex Infinitum. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sick song. It is. <laughs> Big air-to-air -air trade. Oh, Nape and Cyan Plaza does out. not look like Cyan Plaza knows how to deal with Nape Saddle. Yeah, out of burst this early in the round. That's brutal. Absolutely. And get counter hit out of the air a bunch. Trying to just sort of... Oh, ooh, get the 6-8. Six six the boldest of ways to get out of your own corner situation. Oh, throws the bomb. And another. <laughs> and the game's going to take a little bit of a pause there. Well, we wait for bombs to, to uh, resolve. Get yeah. the corner knockdown. What's the item? I think that's oh. another bomb. Nope, nope. Mini Faust. 6H means that we don't get a chance for that bomb to matter. Absolutely. Okay, that, that Faust Jump H just covers the entire screen horizontally. Little Robokai showing up, saying, hey, I'm here, having fun. Yeah, you know, zooming along the ground to cause the trouble, but pile, pile of damage. Whip sitting there ringing. Making one of the best sweeps in the game, seven frames, very oh, long. So much Which damage getting stacked up here. And it's... I do believe this will kill. Nope. nope. Not quite oh. kill! And the chest super! <laughs> Could be the start of a comeback. Cyan Plaza, a, really? a big proponent of that reversal <laughs> super. And oh, thrown. Throw does not quite go no. into the poison. Oh! Um, wait. Does huh. not quite get there. If that burst had not happened, I actually... Oh, when we got the reversal sequel, we were going last game, last if round. If that burst hadn't yeah. happened, that bomb might have killed fast. <laughs> yep. Alright, Nape saddles themselves into the corner, but blocks the flowers and the weight. Yep, ooh, but counter hit jumped us. Nothing off it. Going for Locked those. Cyan, but gets pushed all the way to the other corner. Throwing right. that jump dust. Sign nice. does not seem to know Ooh, that jump dust. A awesome. great, great, great block on the 2K. Or dodge on the 2K. There yep, you go. Knocked down. Thrown into the corner. Yep, dodge you the hammer. Get the chop. You've got to throw that dodge stance. You cannot hit it. Oh, and, and we get the sword the, wiggle. Text into the sword wiggle again. The will wiggles. <laughs> we got a burst. Oh, we got a connects. Not a big combo, though, again. Nape saddled off the Pogo. Oh, Crusher into the... Oh, this is... No OTG, though. Both characters really low and gets hit by the reversal again. I do believe this is it. Not no quite. Did, did oh, not get a pattern that uh, let's whip combo off it. But that jump H covers the whole screen and Lem knocks Cyan Plaza out of the event. Absolutely. You know, Lem went down the one game, but brought it all the way back. Great stuff from Lem. Great composure. Game. Yeah, good composure to not be rattled by that first game loss and sticking it out absolutely and what do we got we got garbage coming up 
We and got I Garbage got versus... Tello. Tello, alright. Order Soul versus, uh, versus Justice. Please, this is a fun matchup. I've played it a lot, personally, as a Justice player, and, you know... Well, most of the time I'm playing against Black Maniac, and... But... Tell Justice has a habit of, by setting up nukes, allowing the Order Soul player to get charged up, so the hits that the Order Soul player is able to get, if they can navigate the garbage, no pun intended, <laughs> are very big payouts. Absolutely, we're garbage going in, good counter. It's gonna be a pile of damage, and... Oh, oh but another hit. garbage packs. Justice in the corner, knocked down. Oh, that did not no mileage at all. I do not know what that what garbage even did to make that win. Not the best DP in the world, let's say. No, I believe it's just upper body involved, correct? Yeah. Oof, but, Ooh, Michael yeah. Sword, Michael Sword. Hello. Yeah. Hello, very patient player, very very good at the mental game. It's not gonna let not gonna let that uh shake him up. Absolutely. Wow, the Incredible counter Valkyria snatches out of the been, air. Must have been at the last frames. Yeah, that was about as far as you could get. Alright, one. Both one more hit will absolutely low do health. it. Oh, and we've got the uh, Gamma Ray. Imperial Ray? Oh, Whatever the Ray Imperial is. Imperial Ray. Gamma Ray is off twice as much meter and sucks a lot more. The Ray Romano. Uh, <laughs> oh, I've learned some things about Gamma Ray recently, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> All right, All right. But, uh, garbage Good. not going to be shaken yeah. up. Just go just going. Pressure. Yeah, hit out of the counters. Does not care about those nukes. Garbage uh, does not want to let Justice get get her game plan going. Sitting at a substantial life lead and just holding forward. Oh, gun blaze underneath the nukes and gets the grab though. Nice stuff by Garbage and another throw. I was hoping for another throw, but get the stage instead. Absolutely. Just that one more hit and Thello is dead. Part. Ooh, but not that hit. Superior's into the nuke! What a conversion! That was sick. Incredible combo. Oh, oh he's he's ready for the gun blaze under the nuke this time. He gets Drops smashed. The combo. But, uh, Thello bringing it back. Absolutely. Oh, just throwing yeah. out that counter from time to time because you know that Orderstall wants to just get that one more hit. Now both care. Oh, oh and there's Fafnir. a Fafnir. That big 10 frame low. Right now, one one in uh in rounds in game one of uh, this top eight match. Both characters doing oh, their thing. Counter hit. Powerful Here counter we go. Hit. Fair bit of damage. He tries to get the side switch, but gets snagged out of the air again. Garbage, not not really charging up his levels. Just doesn't want to get justice any time to set up. Does not That's care that he's level one. Definitely a valid approach. Oh, but the whiff burst. Absolutely, tries jumping over those nukes, but it is hard. Yeah, absolutely. Especially with Order Soul's low jump arc. Oh, uh, tries Sapphire to go underneath the nuke and get hit by Syria. Oh, Ooh, gun blades at Farsi. Fafnir, Fafnir, <laughs> DP. Right. Send all that meter Fafnirink. Oh, wow. Absolutely, and again, oh, we're back to, we're at the next hit kill situation. A trade. Ooh, trade there. This is very scary. But oh, what a counter, counter does it. Thello wins the first game. Presence of mind to get that counter. Absolutely. Please select your character. Let's see if we get any changes. Ooh, our match yeah. rate is officially over 200. Thank you, everyone. Special shout-outs to, I believe, Dastarin and Aggro Craig for being our uh, largest supporters today. <laughs> <laughs> and Nuclear Cheese, indirectly. <laughs> shout-outs to Nuclear Cheese. Alright. What? I mean, that was a heck of a back-and-forth game. Bello ended up taking it, but Garbage, no splash. Yeah, Get the throw. Off to a strong start. Garbage still very much in this set. Ooh. Emmanuel has made... Oh, just get every nuke, just what Bella wants. Great block. The Justice is in the corner, and Order Soul is not going to give her a second to rest. Tex out, but uh, a again. Pretty, pretty substantial life deficit. But this is going to be the first thing that gets us back. Valkyrie are. Ooh, but there's a painful counter hit. Absolutely. So, so much meter. This could be four factors. There's one <laughs> there's of them. One. Ooh. 
<laughs> Anti-air 5 dust, but nothing off it. Oh, RC is the, the charge board. cancel. And again, both characters yeah. very low health. Yeah, blocks the superior, blocks the nuke. That guard bar is super cranked. All right, yep. here we go. Every very charged up. Forth. Get hit by far slash, but not quite enough to kill, but the Ooh. superior will kill. Interesting to see Garbage not charge up until uh, the, the damage that, that he was threatening really didn't matter. Yeah. Oops. Get the gun blade, Ooh, though. goes backwards. Wild to see that. First to maintain the corner pressure. Probably good. Ooh, good, good throw to You tag. rarely see those in this game. It is a two-frame window. Usually means both it. players were trying to throw. Yeah, absolutely. Garbage sitting in a large life lead, but we've seen this before. Round or, uh, couple rounds. Yeah, Bellas high... Are... High nuke into the low nuke. Oh, doesn't quite get the JH for the bigger... the better knockdown. Oh. And that... One or two more combos, but uh, Justice has got five, so probably gonna be two. Yeah, Imperial Ray, nice to just be like, all right, let's let's hold off for a sec. Oh, nope. get the path here. here into two S, and Garbage takes the round. All right, Bellow's still one round away from knocking Garbage out, but Garbage definitely making right some adjustments and uh, TK Michael Ford always solid. Strong counter hit. We've seen several of those JH counter hits. They don't lead to a ton of damage, but uh, they are hard to deal with. It looked like that counter was not going to get there, but perhaps Garbage trying to punish it slightly too soon. Absolutely. Right. Oh, there's oh. that. There's that uh, PK nuke pattern. Good one. Very good at dealing with Order Souls' uh, low, low jump arc. Oh, and a manual detonation combined with Michael Floyd, but the Fafnir doesn't get Fafnir. Nothing. Doesn't fully complete the combo, but still a lot of damage. Garbage bringing back that that life deficit. Oh, oh my fellow, so confidently countering, the takes the burst. Michael Blade, but gets blocked. Rocket. Oops. Scary situation for Garbage to be in. Tagged by any hit. Or swinging into that counter, which fellow is coming up with a counter hit. Not a lot right. of level, though. That fellow is also one hit of luck. Oof, there's the heavy Michael doesn't now quite he's, kill. Now even blocking nukes is dangerous. There's the Imperial Ray to to chip punish. Out. Oh, this it should kill. be enough. There you go. Garbage. Robert brings it to a 1-1. One, one. We got a set here, folks. There's the benefit of getting charged up, is that it makes that one hit pay out just enough. And yes, the the parry that Justice has, Valkyrie Arc, is quite good. It is active for a fair little window of time, but it does not beat lows or projectiles. It's not Warren. It is still very good, though, and the conversion that Justice can get out of it is quite good. And also, if you throw her, you know, that's gonna work, too. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does not parry highs and lows. We are not testing it here. If only. <laughs> Alright. Players feeling each other out here. Ooh, nice air dash over the Michael Sword. Gets a hit and a 5D, but no combo. Nothing. Blocks the DP. Ooh, there's that counter hit, J.A. Yeah, Weird conversion slides into garbage. Gets the level 2 knockdown. Push Justice into the corner. And nice again, uh, early life lead by garbage. We're seeing this most sets, but uh, Fellow's been able to come back most of them. There's Snag the Take yep. first. Ooh, that's a spooky place. place to burst, because the jump cancel can absolutely blow that up, but gets it there. Oh, whiffing 2H, whiffing 5D, that was almost certainly supposed to be a Fafnir, would have hit. There's the Gunblaze, Gunblaze. Counter hit, oh, no but nothing off it. Ooh, Michael like, Blade blocked. Ooh, that is... That was a life no, flash before no the eye situation. Here. Yeah, Seth Precarious! Ooh, but gets hit by the nuke! Ah, this is an exciting set. Precarious! Precarious situation. Alright. Oh, and the big... Oh, boy. But I am feeling it! Alright. Get Absolutely. hit out of the aerial Michael Sword. This is some good-ass guilty gear. Oh, and what a start by Garbage, taking a massive life lead and level 2 charge. Garbage to an another hit would be very productive. Oh, but there goes the level. Ooh, there's it another should kind not of kill because it doesn't have the level to make it happen. But any hit now uh, certainly will. Gets hit by that high nuke again. Again and again, garbage just getting those counter hit JHs. Yeah, and it's a brutal thing to get hit by. Nice, confident counter by Thello with a move that would have certainly killed. 
Absolutely. Now, right. again, we're in that low health situation on both sides. Michael Thor is back here. Absolutely. Oh man, that trade Ooh. doesn't quite get catch, and the Fafner doesn't quite reach. And Fellow takes out garbage. Gotta feel bad if you're if you're garbage there. Faf Fafner didn't quite make it, although I suppose Michael Blade. Yeah, yeah Michael Blade is a reversal, that. so in invulnerable for long enough to blow up that Michael or that Fafner for sure. Absolutely. Wow. What a set, though. Tension. That. Increase high tension match, life tension like yeah, high life, high tension battle like the New England Gold bursts are happening. Uh, and now we have our loser round five matches: uh, Nuclear Cheese versus Lem and FGC Stone versus Fellow. And of course, in uh, winners finals, we have Elven Shadow versus Skeletal Minion. Oh yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> Cheese lamp. All right. So we're watching uh, Nuclear Cheese versus Lem. They've definitely played each other a few times in these events. Uh, I believe Nuclear Cheese is usually won, but Lem is Lem has definitely been doing some work this bracket. Please and yeah, no, Nuclear Cheese always a blast to watch. Absolutely, and I mean Lem just been fighting through. A hell of a Faust gauntlet, but now has to play a very differently paced match dealing with Soul. The teacher versus the student, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a bunch of weird lore stuff. Clive, well, what? <laughs> yeah, Cliff kind of Soul's teacher, but also Soul knew Cliff as a kid. Cool. Oh, first to take, keep the corner, but gets riot stamp. There, there's the riot stamp, bandit bringer plus one in this game because it is a level six move. Ooh, two S to punish that sweep, and there's some damage. Get that corner carry. Six H block tie. You do not not want to get hit by that raw six H. You will die. Absolutely. Ooh, oh, BB and Viper each other. Wow, just big commitment moves, both of them. Oh, there's the bandit, bandit does this not. A ton of damage, but drops the sideline to loop. Volcanic Viper, Nuclear Cheese now at the life lead, but both characters one hit away from dying. Oh yeah, the gun flame Soul might do it, but the Soul DJ jump H kills. Tech. Soul's jump H, interesting move. There are zero recovery frames on that move. As soon as its active frames are over, it is done. He is, he is back to neutral. Catch him with the chop, into the big damage. Get that counter right. chop. Ape saddle block. Sweeps under the bandit if it gets caught. Absolutely. Right? Peeling each other out. We get Absolutely. a drill. Alright, nice block by Lamb, but gets caught by the gun flame, and that's gonna be a Ooh, the bandit revolver catches out of the deck. Ooh, counter hit gun flame. You've gotta burst there, that will kill. Oh, gets a throw. Alright, quick at this. Opportunity not chunk of damage off his club. Or off Ooh, but the volcanic viper out of the startup of, I believe, six H is the the gigantic yep. overhead. Yes. That that's unfortunate. It definitely looks like Lem had done that six H to uh, bait volcanic viper, but Soul with heavy VV moves very far forward horizontally. But Lem is uh, still in this. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and we got we got those those zooms. <laughs> we got those mooms. <laughs> that seems ricochet is happening. And maybe the alien will show up to watch some hype guilty gear. God, I hope so. Love that alien. Hope he's doing well. Hope he's character fifteen. <laughs> cool. Gunflame in the corner. Gunflame. Ooh, but then counter at JH. Both of them dropping the combos. You got to ride right that bad first. first. He's gonna hurt. All right. Ooh, oh, dodge the five D. Get the job. Absolutely. Now got Lock. that corner press. Get off by the drill. Drill RC. Keep that oh. pressure going. Get the knockdown. Look at the damage. Look at that damage. First Doing kill active bro. on Nuclear G's side though, so gotta drill. be mindful of that. Drill, an incredibly weird move to block. Boom so headshot. Sidewinders, and you have so much meter to force some clean hits if you wanna. Volcanic Viper. Let's need it. Into uh, Far Slash, I think? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, get the round start VV. 
dodging straight through that gun flame, does not want to deal with those boss frames. Wow, that massive hitbox. Absolutely, gets a bit of damage. Ooh, it's the 5D, what do we as, got? As, uh, just a short combo. Oh, wow, <laughs> actually, you <laughs> thought that was a short combo, but cliff combos are weird. Ooh, I am stealing that. <laughs> nice. Wow, the Wake Up Pirate Rave still gets eaten up by that fried egg. Yep, yeah. Keeps dodging through the gun frames. Which means that any hit will get you... Ooh, there's the clean hit sidewinder. It does not look like uh, Cheese knows the, the clean hit area for uh, Cliff. The tricky one is a weirdly shaped old man. <laughs> a weirdly shaped old man with a big sword. Yeah, but nice. And Use there is the saddle. Nape saddle for the win. One round each. This game. Round star far slash. I am blessed I did not make that bet in this Alright. Nice hit. Gets the corner, gets the run oh, up. Where's the wall? Sidewinder. Oh, oh, but not again. It's a struggle to clean hit this character, but she's still adjusting. Alright, you can play Mark C, run up pressure, nice block. She's Back here, Tyrant Brave. He does not want to give Lamb a turn. Oh, blocks the reversal. No punish. Can't really do much punish with that weird dragon. Oh, Lift. Lift, but not punished because of the little follow-up kick. It, it can be real tough when Soul can choose. Wow, the what? JD and Volcanic Viper clashing, but... Ooh, and that geez, is it. That off. And Nuclear Cheese takes it over Lem. Nuclear Cheese advances to a uh, loser semifinals. Uh, which means I believe we have FGC Stone versus Thello next. Uh, so we should have Justice versus. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have Justice versus Johnny. Both very large button characters. Absolutely, this is another fun one. It is. Like, you know, we've got all these, you know, interest, as you said, the interesting mobility options for Johnny. So navigating the the nukes is is a interesting task for him. I think Jackhound is a, is a cool option when Johnny has the meter to do so, but otherwise, it can be tough. But of course, if he gets snagged by a Mistfinder, all those nukes go away, and then you gotta do it with them taking a grip of damage. Mm -hmm. huh. But of course, I mean, Tello, very on point with the counters, so Stone's going to have to be careful throwing out even those long-range buttons. Cause you're Ooh, gonna I am blanking on what Korean song this is. Oh, what a great brown star Stone. Ah, this is Slayer's Korean. Thank you, JMT. Ooh, oh, the coin gets coin knocked the away nuke. by the nuke. That's got to be unfortunate if you're FTC Stone. Ooh, nice you really want those coins to uh, hit or, at worst, be blocked for the plus points. Well, there you go. That coin Johnny traded for the so board. much money to gamble. Same. Uh, Johnny, uh, unlike Order Soul, has a very high super jump. Uh, Absolutely. You know, there are some pretty high nukes. That H nuke goes way the heck up there, but... It's a very shallow one, though. Yeah. Well, you can see Tello's feeling that... Looking for that counter, but... Gotta be careful. Yep. Nice jump on the coin. coin left. Sword. Ooh, getting the air options back to try to jump up the Imperial Ray, but gets hit. Tello takes the first round. You win. Hey, this song kind of slaps. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm loving it. I don't think Slayer has a bad beat. That's true. And we've got some nukes. Tello just walking back, flinging some Michael Swords, throwing some nuclear blasts. Does not want FGC Stone to be able to get anything started. Oh, but here we go. Bet's, bet's big on that Mistfinder being let rock with the counter, but pays for it. Absolutely. Big chunk of damage. There's the Michael Blade. So Jumped Michael over. Blade. Inkasu. Gets a counter hit, but nothing off of it. You can't counter Ooh. the coin, but you can counter the follow up. Mistfinder straight into the counter. I wonder if that eats levels. I hope not, for Johnny's sake. I mean, the Mistfinder does go off, so I imagine it probably does. Unfortunate. Absolutely, and there's the knockdown. Gotta get all the way back in. Blocks the dead angle. 
Oh, tried for Mist Finder, but gets Michael bladed. Fellow sitting in a life lead now. Jack counts to get the heck out of there, but gets countered. Got a burst. Got a burst, but it. FGC Stone in such a bad position. Yeah, gets hit by the super jump K. You win. Please select your character. All right, what do we All have right. going on now? Yeah, we are in there. All right, we are yeah. feeling. Uh, which stage was this? I noticed it was a uh, Verdant, but is it the uh, Mario and Luigi one or the other one? I didn't notice, but we will absolutely see, and I'll get hyped if I see the Mario Brothers. <laughs> I do hope the Mario Brothers are doing all right. It nope, is this is not the Mario Brothers stage. All right, so you know we got some. Instead, we got the Keebler Elves everywhere. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have maybe see a little bit less swinging at a stone just to not hit into the counter. But then again, then you have to deal with all these dudes. Let Bella set up. Absolutely. Bella taking the one. Just bullying at the Z Stone. Ooh. Tries the air dash and gets off by the high new. Large chunk of damage there. Throwing yeah, the it. Oh. It's gonna kill? No, not, not quite. quite. But FTC Stone has a large amount Back of damage. Alright. Ooh, drops the coin. You can't be doing that at this yeah, point. Yeah, brutal. Wow. Fella doing such a great job. Absolutely. Controlling the space. But here we go. Good stuff for Stone. Gets leveled up. Gotta be careful swinging that leveled up Mist Finder into the counter. You don't want to do that. There you go. And Stone using their burst, but they are at a full life right now. Chucking that mozzarella stick. Right, gets a sweet trade with the coins. Level 3 Mist Finder. Gotta make this one count. Blocks the Imperia. Big stick to Michael Sword. Alright. Stopping Tony from getting in. Yeah. Then you know that Stone really like oh, oh spent all oh, so much meter fault the thing and the guard bar playing up. There we go though. Minor three. Ooh, Michael yep. Blade luckily blocked. And the coin does hit. So level two Miss Miner still on lock. Jackhound oh, gets the first. This should you be doing it. Dead. Even with Good that. Stuff. Even with that guts five, Johnny delivers. One round each. Johnny throws a coin, but then he gets hit by a uh, Valkyrie Arc. Early knockdown. Yeah. Alright, uh, fellow is looking more like a round than fellow is looking for, but alright, use the 6 H to try and get in. Does not swing into the counter, though. Yep, 6K oh. does not uh, hit the counter. Alright, here we go. That Duke, Jack has to get the heck out of the way from the Duke and get the counter hit with no follow. They're good in Casa there. You know, that Bello really wants that counter, but gets thrown! Right you're now. that far away from Johnny, it might be better to block standing. Yeah, that's for sure. Ooh, with the level 2, but drops the combo. Yeah, that's brutal. You can't, you gotta take advantage of every opportunity you get against a player like Bello. Alright, gets a 5D though. Gets a dust, is this gonna kill? That it does. It is gonna kill, wow. you see Stone still showing signs of life, we are 1-1. One one. Nice! They made the adjustment. Absolutely. And, you know, made some, got more, more solid confirms off of the hits that they were getting in that second game, and they made it happen. But, you know, obviously, never count out Elo either. Just that both of these players, have, and over the course of the games we've seen, shown plenty of ability to adjust. Both of these players want to uh, want to fight nuclear cheese. Want to stay alive. Want to get some of that money, some of that Macharino dollars. Absolutely, get some of those 200 Macharino dollars Absolutely. for Thank a weekly you. event. That nuclear blast is in play. All right, just gonna tag with the car blast a little bit, try to play, but Ooh, wow, that burst! I believe that throw was a punish there. Yeah, that was an awkward situation. Like the 6 k traded, but the burst still <laughs> happened. Alright, gets, gets, getting some hits with these far slashes and the damage is adding up. Absolutely. Nice back dash. Justice back dash Ooh, is very, Michael. very good. So much meter for Tello here. Stone's got to be careful. What do we got? Oh, Emma <laughs> Nearly kills. Ooh, Ooh that's got to The far slash bad. cranked guard gauge. I mean, yeah, like Johnny's. Only got so much mobility, so if you're full, full screen, Gamma Ray might have time to go off. Incredible. 
in before Black Maniac shows the Gamma Ray Punish video in the Twitch chat, it probably <laughs> happened. But Stone already half life lead here, and gets the throw, levels up Miss Finer, but nothing Where's else. Going? I wonder, like, I know that Johnny can get fairly large, decent combos off of the throw. I wonder if Stone is used to comboing the character as you heavy and down, wide yeah. as Gust. Uh, Justice is light, actually. Oh, right. Light and wide. That's Even though all of the parameters make you think that Justice would be relatively easy. Uh, ah, but you see, uh, Guilty Gear is an old fighting game, so unfortunately, uh, Justice is light because Justice is a girl. Right. Alright, already leveled up to level 3, blocked, and sweet. Alright, that was a throw though. Stone is getting these throws all over this thing in his last game. Alright, Stella's got the burst back and gets the nukes, but they're, they're avoided, but swings into the counter, and this is gonna hurt. Absolutely. Knocked down the corner. Oof, just so much damage off that one counter. Imperial Ray is blocked. Can't really do much to it afterwards, though, especially if you're low mobility. Jackhound, Gold Burst is blocked and off. another threat. Ooh. Gets a little chunk of change. But another counter. Zello is just on point with those for the majority of the evening. And we might throw no Jage to follow up. Jackhound again. We're gonna get in the last hit territory for both players pretty soon. Michael, Michael Blade not able to punch the coin. Shakes out before the Jackhound stagger. One hit from either of them. Oh, oh and Tello just manages to take it over FTC Stone. That little 2K, stick that stick that coin to out of that little tail out of the ground and get the hit. And if you get hit by um, 2K, there's plenty of damage that can follow that as well. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Abba's blood is made out of Quicksilver, which is why she's heavy. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna oh, I'll really drop that link in the chat. Nope, I almost spelled Math Macharino wrong. Math Bang, there we go. Yep, that's <laughs> what I had written. <laughs> Alright, let's math. get that Macharino going. We are currently, if I am right, at two hundred dollars and seventy four cents. So you can get that get the contributions in there, hit up the sponsor quest, do some throw some tweets tweets and follows out there. We got the code, I believe it's BlueBeatGG. I don't know if all of those have been used yet. If they haven't, get in there and do that for no money. And we are going to let it rip with a three out of five winners finals. Absolutely. Between Skeletal Minion and Elven Shadow, players who have played each other quite a few times. Absolutely. And like in our brackets elsewhere, all over the place, these players have been representing for years. This will be the latest chapter in what has been a very long series of matches between the two. Absolutely. Uh, and I, I know uh, this matchup is generally supposed to go in Faust's favor. Faust has quite a few ways to knock down, and uh, generally pretty good at dealing with uh, Abba's anti-airs. And just a nuisance to get in on, especially for a character as slow as Abba. But, you know, Skeletal been there before. Nice use of the cross up. But we're seeing that right here. Skeletal Minion just can't seem to get anything started. Early counter hit. Skeletal Minion is almost dizzied. Oh, what? here we go, that though. One hit, and Faust is also almost dizzied now. All right. Folks, we are um, playing guilty here. Absolutely. Uses the Force Break Pogo. Oh, he might have been dead. Wow, black oh. combo, but it kills the mini Faust with the disrespect at the end. All right. Same, same round star for Skeletal the whole time. Elvin just evades it. Does want to deal. Ooh. The weight and the scalpel. That's that counter hit 2k, but now we've got Moroha. Ooh, this is going to be a damaging yeah. counter hit. Here's the opportunity. No burst on Faust, and the Moroha and the hit. But oh, the side switch. Oh, but there's the Domsai into the wall bounce. Black Look feet, but it damage. still hurts. This might well just be last hit territory here. Nice blocks Please. and the throw. Good. Yeah, one knocked down. Oh, it's an and love. You might just be dead. Yep. Yep. Wow. What a combo. Black beat at the end, but it still minion. kills. Yeah, I mean, both of the combos that Elvin finished those games or rounds with did black beat, but they still killed. That's all that matters. Wow. You know, I didn't. I just learned that Quicksilver is heavier than blood, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I'll take it. Quicksilver, heavier. 
heavier than blood. Some of the things you're going to learn in Boston Bluebeak. Yeah. A pound of is... <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Alright, game two. Let's go. Game two. Reminder, this is a three out of five set. So, Elven Shadow still has two more games to win. And another counter hit, J2K. Flower into going highway, the bomb. Ooh, the burst avoids the bomb, but and gets the T-Grab. So you know, it works Counter out. Too heavy. This is going to be quite a lot of damage for Skeletal Man. Oh, nice look at orb. that. And that looks like it hit with the center of ABBA. Uh, if ABBA can hit you with her center, then she, uh, both orbs will hit. It does way more damage. Yeah, but the bomb definitely, well, it hit. It definitely still, wow, the throw. Oh, and we got a mini fast ruining the combo for Skeletal Minion. Great for both characters any, one hit away from death. Any hit will absolutely do it. The 5D connects and gets the round. Skeletal Minion with the zeroest of pixel to left. <laughs> but that is the ABBA way. ABBA hurting herself with every attack she does in Moroha or Goku Moroha mode. Yeah, outstanding air throw by Elven Shatter to get this great corner position and gets the hit. Go on another right item, up. just a donut, but the 6 ace connects. But that Ooh. 6 ace command dash through for the key grab. Great work. Absolutely. Oh, and then go and it's going to be another hit. Another knockdown. Already. One more knockdown. knockdown oh. Meteor's in play. That is going to be a knockdown. Eventually. Oh, unless it's just a kill. Nope. No, the one burst. Oh. Yeah, any <laughs> hit will do it. Food. Yeah. Ooh, very, very commanding round, Elf Shadow. And the burst was spent to avoid that last knockdown, but the round is still in Elf's favor, so that's a brutal resource spent. Right, Mini Robokai. Oh, there's the Dawn. an issue. Mini Robokai getting a knockdown all by his lonesome. What a hero. Knockdown two. One more knockdown. The donut's not going to help, though. Oh, but there's the Goku Maraha transformation to uh, change the or to reset the bar. Yeah. And look at this damage. And also, yeah, to deal about 70% damage. Sometimes wow. you just want to win instead of lose. Ooh, the burst whiff, but still leads to an okay situation. All right, nice use of the force break Boga to keep the pressure going. The mini spout ruins the command dash, though. We got some poison stopping the command. Age dash. trade, the meteor is not what Skeletal skeleton wants to be. And Elvin is up 2 0. Nicely done. I mean, obviously, that great time for those meteors to come out. Skeletal needed to just move, get out of there, do something. But that's a pretty checkmate situation for the All right. Game three, going to the Mario and Luigi stage. Skeletal's going to have to obviously mount a heck of a comeback, but. Hopefully Skeletal Minion has uh, paid off Mario and Luigi and they will help Skeletal. Just a blink and you miss it life bar situation with uh, with Skeletal. We already saw like 60 to 70% combo with Goku Maroha. So. Absolutely. Abba, one of those characters out. you can never count out. Nice blocks on all of this by Skeletal, but without in normal mode, can't do a ton to punish. Oh, but right. Counter JD gets the, get the full screen knockdown. And first out of the first by meteors the are active. Goku, but still get hit by the meteors. One knockdown. This is go oh, a bad nope, burst that there. Will still be another. Knockdown. And that'll be and the third. Three. No IK, but large chunk damage to Abba. This is not what Skeletal Minion. Oh, does. but the key doesn't get the key grab in the air combo, and this should kill. Not quite. Not quite. I can't remember how much the chop does. Abba, I believe, has got some four. Yeah. If only the, there had been a Faust item coin hit at some point, so that that shop would have been powered up a little bit. But here we are. Anyway. Elven Shadow now one round away from kick getting a point leap over uh, Skeleton and three out. Catch. All right, Mini Faust in play, going to get knocked down right into his path. And Faust is trying his best. Little Mini Faust gets in there. Absolutely. All right, Donut, not at all. What Abba loses half her health for. before she can transform. But, now the transformation is there, so here, this could be the beginning of quite the comeback. Dead angle, though. One knockdown. Oh, and an early Goku Maroha. Skeletal Minion just trying to get something started. Wow. Oh, but the lift and another punish by Elvin. Do the bomb know. is That's here. Bomb. Absolutely. Alright, there we go. Oh, another hit. This will hurt a whole bunch. Oh, oh but he uses the... Oh! Finds the angel! What a wild! 
Do you believe in miracles? Uh, Force no. break, Kondo does not. And Elven Shadow gets a 3-0 Skeletal Minion, but what a finale to that last round. Oh. Elven Shadow will, or, uh, will advance to the Grand Finals, and Skeletal Minion will uh, be knocked down to the loser's bracket to fight the winner of Nuclear Cheese vs. Thalo, which is uh, who we have coming up next. Nuclear Cheese and Thalo plays, uh, played each other quite a few times. They were our usual 1 and 2 spot before our bracket started getting bigger. Absolutely. And um, they are a... can always count on some, some fun fireworks from these players. Absolutely. Nuclear Cheese historically beating Thalo in uh, these matches, but Thalo's been playing really well today, and uh, definitely... Oh, yes, Indeed. Nuclear Cheese is the one who knocked Thello into losers. I had forgotten about that. So this is a uh, this is a runback for Thello. Indeed. And Get that uh, double jeopardy against Nuclear Cheese. Never a situation you want to be in, but <laughs> you gotta do it, you gotta do it. And I mean, whoever gets to whoever wins this will have the honor of playing against uh, Nuclear Cheese or Skeletal Media to try and run the gauntlet through some excellent players to make it all the way back. Absolutely. First, they have to deal with each other. In the first set, as we had mentioned, went Nuclear Cheese's favor. But, let's see what the... Oh yeah, anime is hell. Get us an anime opening. You cannot Valkyrie Arc Gunflame, and that is going to suck a little bit. Still right. in the dark, Flam. Nice, JH. The plus R trailer theme. Alright, blocks the JH. Got the Badoo bandit right, right into it. it. Ooh, wow, what a Nuke thing. Nuclear Cheese just running into those nukes, losing all his life. Ooh, but gets the, but, gets yeah, the volcanic out of the corner. corner. This is not what Della wants to see. Nice Imperial Ray. Imperial Ray. That is very hard to punish if it's possible at all. Very plus on block if, uh, if all of it hits, I believe. Indeed. Ooh, Ooh there's a run of Volcanic Viper. Not but quite the knockdown the corner, though. Boom headshot. Boom headshot. Wow. The triple clean hit. Good stuff. But Ooh, the good presence of mind. Ooh. Both players on one hit territory. Tyrant Rave blows up the 2D. Absolutely. Great, great stuff. Ooh, I, who I thought was going to win that round changed three times in a second. Ooh. Great Another counter. Valkyrie strong start. Fella. Of course, it can be a little bit tricky to convert off things in the air on soul. Clean hit, Grand Viper. Boom headshot. Boom but headshot. We got what we got. And the third of Fellow's life gone immediately. You gotta be careful to putting out those higher nukes when soul is, you know, just able to run in at you. Absolutely. Oh. Good burst there. Oh, that, that was funky looking. They still got the super flash start up of that tyrant rave, but clean hit sidewinder just to make sure it connects, but drops the next one. Ooh, Ooh, but a the counter, but that's gonna gonna hurt. Do it. Yep. Do not. You don't want to. It's a real bad feeling to whip a counter right in Soul's face because you are going to eat so much for it. Oh, and a change of scenery. This is actually probably one of my, my favorite tracks. I'm it's feeling the, it. The type EX Soul Kai that never happens. <laughs> Ooh, I'm digging this. Oh, yeah. All right. And a strong star from Fellow, but does connect with, doesn't connect with one Michael Thor, but the nuke into the next several Michael Thors do connect, and that's what we're looking for. Fellow. Fellow standing at a pretty substantial life lead, but uh, Nuclear Cheese playing a uh, playing that volatile high damage character. Absolutely, nice block. Ooh, we get back to gun slam and the air throw out of the first. Burst. That's brutal. Ooh, the I the IAD back clean hit sidewinder. It's going to be a large chunk of change. Wow, and coming up, up Nuclear Cheese. The life lead has evaporated, and this is going to hurt. Also, Bandit Revolver loops. Nope, drops them after the first one. But she's still standing at a meter. large life lead, large meter lead, and the only one of the two to have burst. Yeah, and so much meter to... Wow! Alright, wants to taste the burst and finish the round off. 
confident, knowing that if you spend the burst, you're still gonna make that happen. 2D into two. Nuclear Chief's just got a B now. Fellow got a burst. Oh yeah. Oh, Nuclear Cheese just just about to get that U as you know our guilty your community is familiar with. Oh, massive life lead for Thello, but this is the case last round. Oh, and there's, there's the clean the head. Ooh, it drops the clean head sidewinder. Whiffing all over the place. Doing the super gonna see a Grand Viper. And the Grand Viper RC, guard gauge crank, and this counter hit. Sidewinder. Giant okay. damage. Hello got burst back though. Tello's life lead was so massive until it was just completely gone. Well, can a Viper threw whatever the class it has, was. It has the burst. Be careful, this this man can grant Viper under your lowest nuke. Gotta be careful here. Oh, and oh. she's masterfully threading the threading the needle there and gets in. Wow. Outstanding stuff, like just Thello just playing the beginning of those rounds so well to get pretty big life leads, but then Nuclear Cheese just never ever letting up, and just as soon as the momentum starts to swing back in Cheese's favor, he is more than happy to just break it off. And now, uh, Nuclear Cheese running that gauntlet and uh, gonna fight Skeletal Minion in Losers Finals. This is a three out of five uh, round or game. Uh, really appreciating Anji's theme plan right now. Oh yeah! Shout, shout out to Anji. Cool as guilty your character. Very cool for sure. Listen, there's a lot of the coolest guilty your character is a really hard thing because yeah, this cast a... is full of just cool motherfuckers. Guilty Gear has an outstanding cast of characters. This game is awesome, and everybody should play it. If you're here watching and somehow don't play Guilty Gear regularly, you should. If you play with all of us, we love we love bringing in new folks. All and of the new... all of the versions of Guilty Gear. Uh, you can join this term. You can join any other sort of Guilty Gear event you want. Everything is on sale right now on Steam. Uh, you can pick this game up. You, I think at Fanatical probably for like two fifty. That that seems to be the going price. Uh, and hey, this game is not on sale all the hey, time. If, really. you, if you are uh, ver if you're very worried about uh, play playing with people who've uh, pl who've played the game for a while, there there has never been let better learning tools than we have now. And if uh, that's still not enough for you, there's a new Guilty Gear game coming out in two months. But here we go. This here we go. Final three out of five. Sounds like you're first. Oh yeah, you'd hate to lose your burst to Dante. Such a knockdown, though. Yeah, absolutely. Like, no, but the meter has been refilled, but a far flash. Ooh, oh, another, another, another Donzai. Gonna get hit by Donzai. Yeah, getting hit by Donzai with Kokomoroha activated means say goodbye to 40 plus percent of your life. I'm a rave, though. Any. Oh, Force Break Donzai, though, gives plenty of time to confirm for the kill. What the a meter round. meter just about empty, but who cares? When you can just kill your opponent. Round star gunflame counter hit gets that early corner pressure. Boom, headshot. But there's the Moroha. Lock Donzai. Oh, both both players taking a second. Staring each other down. No one wants to press a button into the other person's bigger button. Yeah. The last thing in the world you want is to eat a counter hit from either of these characters, and Soul does just that. But uses his burst, gets a good throw. All right, and yeah, like. I believe we're in one more knockdown territory here, but oh, plenty of meter to activate go. Goku Moroha or a key grab. Get that life back. Transform back. We see the, uh, the Grand Viper RC. RC. Goku Moroha is active. Delta wants to kill a nuclear cheese. Death is the best crowd control in video games. Oh. Volcanic Viper whiffs and is going to be punished for kill, I believe. Yes. Yep. Skeletal Minion takes the first, uh, first game of the set. Wow, just explosive stuff all over the place. I actually really love watching these two players play specifically, just because like if anybody is going to try to run the offense to get like three knockdowns on an on Abba to knock her out of Maroha mode, Nuclear Cheese is a great candidate to do. But then, of course, any any big counter hit that Soul beats is going to be massive damage. 
Oh, we got that May ship. We're gonna make yeah, a miracle. Absolutely. You can't. You still got it. You can still do it. Whatever. Oh, we got the Maroha. First knockdown already, though. Standing. Second. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, not Back quite. Down. Alright, another. There's, There's the other one. Knockdown. Ooh, went for the wild throw. Had to burst there. Absolutely. Will that blood pack be spent to make this pretty good? Oh, oh, nice back dash by Oh, Jeez. good. Oh, it's gonna do a ton of damage to nuclear cheese. Set up that force break fireball. Either go for the unblockable or go for the DP bait. Back dashes. Bait the DP. Tyrant Raven for the kill! You can always count on nuclear cheese to bring the wake up Tyrant Raven in the situation where it like, it will get that kill. Nice oh. 5k in here. Vandabringer loops. Bring Abba to the corner. Bandabringer's oh, over oh, Abba. Unfortunate. Oh, and we no get a drop grab. Though. grab. Oh, another chance for it. But and that one's not dropped again. Good. You can see the back deck coming out of the elbow. Expecting to wake up TP. <laughs> Unfortunately, you see infinite hits guns, I'm respecting nothing. <laughs> Unfortunately, Infinite hits a super armor on that Force Break Gonzai. Does not care about Grand Viper at all. After Tyrant Rave. After Tyrant Rave does not give you a knockdown. Ooh, FD whiffs. The Gunflame pushes back. This is going to be a huge punish. It has to burst. Gunflame, though. And the first is. Oh, there's the counter hit. This is going to kill. Yeah, that's so close. Skeletal Minion takes the round. A pixel of life between the two characters. Oh, oh nice. there's the overhead into a key key grab. grab. Not a combo, right, just going. Do it, yeah. Oh, Nuclear Chief still has a chance, but it is rapidly... Oh, oh and air thrown. Bro. And Goku Roha activate. One right. hit from Abba. Not though. Tell the end for Volcanic though. Viper, one knockdown. I thought. <laughs> Donzai, 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 over and over, and there's enough meter for a force break Donzai as well. Tyrant oh, Rave, be There's oh, the Donzai, boy. and this is going to kill. Yeah, you're dead as hell. Burst. No burst from nuclear yeah. cheese. Hate to see that. And that's a difficult, difficult situation to burst in. But I mean, if you're gonna die, you might as well throw it out there. All right, what do we got? Nuclear cheese, give it some thought to the music. Alright, so a 2-0 game lead for Skeletal Minion. Long, long road for a comeback for Nuclear Cheese here, but not impossible for sure. Nope. If anyone's gonna bring the... Is, if everyone is go if anyone's gonna get even more wild to, to win this match, it will be Nuclear Cheese. Turn it up to 11, please. But Ghost Maroha already active with the P-Grab, get the corner. Nuclear Cheese has been turning it up since the day he first got flamed. Oh, this burst is... Yeah, that's brutal. Oh, but drop the combo. Yeah, and you get a combo. Alright, alright. Grand, Grand Viper, Viper, RC is available. Get the little 2k, but does not get anything off of it. Oh, we're getting real close to see what's going on. No IK, but she lost all that. I guess she didn't really. Yeah. Still got a fair bit of life. Oh, right, that gets right blown hand. up by Donzai. Yikes. And this should Might kill. Just be dead. Ooh, Not Donzai. quite. Another lease on uh, life, but Donzai will take that away. <laughs> Alright, well, match point for Skeletal Minion. Minion here. Donzai again. Wants all the mileage in the world out of that Donzai. Skeletal Minion wants to run that, uh, get that run back against Elven Shadow. Will not be denied, but. Nice throw by Nuclear Cheese. One knockdown. Where the comeback can start. Ooh, avoid the Donzai too, but not that one! This character is so Donzai. fast! She is very fast in Goku Moroha mode. Alright, uh, well, there is the last burst that yeah. Nuclear Cheese is gonna see. It's your last chance. to win this round. Counter it two ace, but nothing out of it. Oh, and oh. that hit should That's gonna do, do it. it. Yeah. Skeletal Minion beats Nuclear Cheese. 3-0 to Skeletal Minion, takes Loser's Finals, and heads into Grand Finals against Elven Shadow. One last time before our Grand Finals takes place, I want to throw the Match Arena link into the chat. Give these two fantastic players all the support that you, this community can bring to bear. 
get Elven Shadow in here for Grand Finals. Elven Shadow, of course, coming in from Winter's Side with the set advantage. Skeletal Minion will have to perform the out very difficult task of taking two sets in a row over Elven oh, Shadow. Elven Shadow. Elven Shadow beat Skeletal Minion 3-0 in Winner's Final, so we're going to have to see a big adjustment from Skeletal. Absolutely. But uh, we all want to see our bracket reset, right? <laughs> I dare not say that I would put money in if there was an uh, if there was a bracket reset because I I we I've, I've spent enough of my money tonight. You want to bet? You want to bet twenty dollars that there'll be a bracket reset? Absolutely not. Okay. Ag Agro Craig, would you like to bet? Uh, I'll, I'll bet five dollars we don't see Roundstar Grand Viper. This suck. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> also, if I'm not I'm not unconvinced that um, Elvin can hear us. So. <laughs> Damn. Oh, nope. all right. Hit off a of Pogo, but God, Elvin's already such gone, a life God. lead for Elvin. But yes, and you are right. Missing the burst. Wow, nice 2S to hit and out of that one. has not even gotten to transform yet. This is not a skeletal minion round. Just incredible face control tool for Faust and Elvin Shadow. Happy to use it all the oh. time. Oh, there's here a we go. Head. Opportunity. Get things started. So much meter for Elvin Shadow, though. Gotta be careful. Oh, there's the key grab reset into key grab. Now you can combo key grab into key grab as long as the first one was a command throw. Yeah, uh, big if it from the, if it's comboed into it does not work that way. But a big back from Axe and Core, where uh, basically all of Abba's combos were going down to double key grab. Good God, Skeletal Minion ran it all the way back. It's, it's remarkable how fast the can turn from a south round into an Abba round. Meteor is active. Be careful. First knockdown. Oh, and we got the burst used by Skeletal Minion running under that uh that J2K. Nice use of the JH to police the skies and another, another set of meteors. The universe really happy to give those up. Oh, and there's the Goku transformation. We just need one or two hits from Skeletal. Nice JH again. Them. These JHs are fantastic. Thank no thank you. Down and the meteor. meteor. Gotta be mindful. Yep. Oh, man! Mini Potemkin! Good Coming god, out. the items are here! Clear the skies! Nice use of the 5k for a counter hit. Elven Shadow okay. throwing a quarter in the fountain. Oof, and the poison is still active, so that's going to start draining Abba's life. Well, look at this damage. Elven Shadow, huge life lead. Let's see if Great Elven can Great command it after, back. Though. That angle to get a knockdown block in six stage. H. You don't see a, a lot of that these days. Huh, I just learned that, uh, that going my way had that FRC point. Yeah, cool. Oh, the oh, bomb is the there. Gotta. Yeah. Oh, that Blood Pack barely gave any life back. Mm hmm. Blood Pack gives back 120% of the damage that Abba has de dealt herself, so she does get to heal off it, but, uh, it's not a ton when your health is that low. Yeah. When a bunch of the damage has been done by your opponent. Doesn't quite help you out as much as you'd like. Alright, well, game one Elven Shadow, but very competitive for sure, so Skeletal's still absolutely in this. The classic Guilty Gear song, of course. Give it that holy order. <laughs> Alright, here we well, go. Well, here's playing pretty uh, defensively. Round start. Ooh, counter hit first slash into the knockdown. Man, be careful. Wash man. Nice key grab. But right. we got an early Maloha. This is. Ooh, hack and slash. And the combo. combo. Into a knockdown. And the meteor. meteor. Oh boy, be careful. Force break Gonzai, but the meteors are there. Blocks the 6 H, but that is not stopping Elven Shadow. We got a bomb. Yeah, use the RC to maintain pressure. Oh, good block on the burst and the throw into the corner. Here's the opportunity. Enough meter to activate Goku. And another throw into the corner. This is gonna hurt so much. No burst available. Set up for whatever you're gonna try to do to get the next hit. Tries to get the force break chop. Doesn't get him. Oh, force, force break on the should kill. Yeah, you're... No, oh, but that's down. Well, that's so And the dead angle! And the... Oh, he used the blood pack to get the health back. But there's a and meteor. Okay, gets gets the hit before the meteors come down. Wow. <laughs> Wind poses through the meteors. What a round. Okay. A little five feet around start. There's a bomb. Keep that pressure going. And we've got an early Maroha. Poison doesn't hit. Faust throwing that, uh, that weight. Alright, corner pressure. 
Oh, there's the counter hit. No combo because of a trade. Great there's, throw. There's knockdown. And the poison. And this should be a knockdown. Ooh, Eventually. it's going to keep going. Another knockdown. 6H. Goku transformation just in the nick of time. Wow. Goes through that poison. Turns out if you are in super armor, you cannot be poisoned. It doesn't matter because you're going to hit Faust to make it go away. And wow, look at all that damage and the life coming back. And Abba bring, or, uh, brings us to even life bars. Thrown to the corner, what but then air thrown to get out of it. That angle for the knockdown. Gets away. 2K. Okay. Is this going to kill? It might. It'll be close. Not cool. oh. This combo is the wall. Oh, uses the Force Break Pogo to expand the combo, but doesn't quite get the kill! Ooh, wow! Ske Skeletal Minion gets the kill, gets the burst, this is... Uh, and takes the game! Wow, what a game. Alright, game two. Ghost... Wait, that was game two, right? I'm already all mixed up. Wow. What a game. These players are bringing it. Well, yes, 1-1 one, one in our... Potentially first of two Grand Finals fence, if Skeletal can keep that up. That's the hope. Oof. The energy in these guys. Ab is such a high, like a stressful character to commentate because there's so many close rounds. <laughs> so much going on. It's right. impossible Ghost. to tell what is and isn't a close round because Ab is hurting herself. Oh, wow. Already so in high round. Robokai is, in, is available. And he's coming. Oh, and regular oh. mini fast. There's little mini fast. Making sure the combo can't go too far. Where you land? He's still coming. Ooh, yes. good or hey, bad burst. Ready, ready for the burst. That is a good, that's an alright place to burst there, but Elven Shadow definitely ready for it. Love gets, gets you a knockdown. Misses the OTG. Uses the, uses the pogo forward movement and an RC. That's really, really strong though. Absolutely. Andy Air 5K. Lock the Alpha Pole and the Donut. Mini Faust. Gotta be ready for him. He's there for you. Wow, nice Ooh. evasion of Mini Faust. Good combo. This is this is what Skeletal Minion wants to see. Get get that corner pressure. Get that damage. Goku Roha. Combo off the unlockable. He's gonna do a pile of damage to Faust. Absolutely. Not gonna kill, I don't believe. But just about. Any hit will do it from here. Although Abba is back in normal mode, and yeah. he's gonna have to try to figure out how to become a good character again. And that poison the, tick. Ma yeah, uses the massive invulnerability on the Force Break Command Dash to get in, but doesn't get a key grab or a hit off of it. Now Elvin has so much meter and, the and a bird back to even. Ooh, but, oh, but this is a hit out of the it. drill, and you're dead. Oof. Elvin Shadow electing to keep his burst for the last round. Yeah. All right, there we go. A 5K a counter hit. Hammer. Oh, gonna pull in, mini yep. fast. Yeah, the mini is gonna make that air knock into the air not happen, but plenty of offense still. Nice oh, 2D, wash pan. Nice 2D again, the bomb this time. Just throwing Keeping that love, doing that to me in an item jail. Let's see if Skeletal can make back. this work. Yeah, uses the dead angle to get one knockdown, uses the throw to get another. This is not the way that Skeletal Minion wanted oh. it to go. You might just be dead. There's the That's kill and a perfect Elven Shadow now 2-1. Wow. Great, great stuff by Elven there. Please. Elven Shadow now up 2-1 in our hopefully first of two grand final sets. But, yeah, but it, it's looking Elven, more like Elven Shadow is going to run away with this. Yeah, Elven can take this game. That will be it. Right, and we are going to take this, take this set to a stage who I will totally see when it lights up. Ah, Phantom City. Faust home stage, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, and he gets the scalpel pull right away. Get you back full screen, set up an item. Ooh, uses the 2S, but doesn't quite hit. Oh, the bomb catches the right as the blood pack is. This is not where Minion wants to be. A massive life lead by Elven Shadow. And because there was so much damage is dealt by Faust, even blood packing it will not get you the health back. The Meteor is well. the Meteor. Oh, are we going to see another perfect? Go, going Goku just to get yep. something, but Love will finish it. And Elven Shadow now on match point. 
If two back to back perfects, I would Tournament be, point for Elvin. Would Skeletal not want gotta, Skeletal Minion in this position. Skeletal has gotta just find the competition here and. Make something happen. Goes for Command Dash Key Grab, but doesn't There's get a bomb. it. Bomb is next. So much pressure from Elvin. Brutal. There's a knockdown. Elvin Shadow not letting Skeletal Minion get anything going. Ooh. Wow, gets the hit immediately. Anti air scalpel with another another knockdown. J H. Another. Okay, we do not see another perfect, but things are looking real bad for Skeletal Minion. Ooh, Elvin Shadow beats like Skeletal Minion Ogo. and takes this tournament. Wow, what a commanding like last couple of games there from Elvin. Skeletal definitely, you know, didn't get three out again there, like not, like it was in Winners Finals. Took some. Took a game, but Elvin just after losing that game just came back with a vengeance. Elvin, so Elvin wants to be able to watch that Ramlethal trailer right as it premieres. Oh, Elvin yeah. has a Ramlethal trailer to watch, a, an appliance to buy, he yep. has to take that match Torino money home. Ramlethal trailer dropping any second now. Wow. The just real prize. Outstanding play, Elvin Shadow and Skeletal Minion and everybody else who entered and who we got the joy of watching on stream. Thank you all for entering and coming by. Absolutely. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for supporting our community. Thanks. Honestly, just play Guilty Gear. Good game. Yeah, we've Congratulations actually... once more. Mm -hmm. we've, uh, we've actually already got the bracket for next week up. I threw it right there in the chat for y'all. You, uh, you can sign up, register. Uh, we're still going to be running the, the regular tournament next week. Uh, and the beta, I think, isn't live until 10 p.m. So you kind of have no excuse. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I'm really glad yeah. about that because uh, that was actually going to stop me from playing. Well, the early access beta, if you pre-ordered the game, is going to have been going on by then. But... Okay, if you well, want to go, if you want to run, come by, play some plus R, and then we'll get out, and then the beta will be ready to go for you. All right? It'll be great. Wow. What a tournament. That was a great time. Thank yeah. you all for coming by, for watching, for playing, for contributing to the Match Arena, for keeping us going. It's our second Match Arena supported tournament, and good God, $200. Thank you all so much for supporting us. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I, I'm Tails at at Tales of Dawn uh, 24 on Twitter. Uh, Craig, I don't know if you use social media. I am Agro Craig at Agro Craig on Twitter. I'm pretty sure I follow you, actually. I should have known that. Yeah, I tweet about cute animals and fighting game shit mostly. Tight. Well, I love I love when things are tight. And the only thing I love more than when things are tight like this is when the Ramblethal trailer put... perfectly <laughs> drops right at the end of our bracket, and I just put it on so we can all watch it together. <laughs> I'm here for this. Incredible, thank you. Are we live? Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're 100% we're we're live. Sure. We can commentate on this live. I, I, I see no... Right, here we go. Strange. Due to the long reach and wide area, her sword attacks cover. Damn, look how she cool this character the battle is. At range with her unique I'm real pressure. glad she got back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bayonetto. Remlethal sends out a sword quickly in this powerful projectile gonna, like, move. Turn this audio on. It sends the opponent flying back on hit. Also, if the sword hits the corner of the stage, oh, yeah, it explodes. I, do that, I, can't hear anymore. Anymore. I definitely don't want to do that. As the sword remains on the ground after it's fired, you need to be for a my set period of time, game. or approach it and pick it up before it can be fired again. True. The slash and heavy slash versions fire at different right. heights. Daro. Oh, there it is! Rapidly, There's the DP! Lunging attack. There you go. It has fast startup and can be cancelled into from normal moves, making okay, it does string. not have the just frame it looks like? It launches like? the opponent right, further though. up, but it hits him that, while they're that in the air. That makes sense. That would so be all. Oh, with the combo. oh okay! Ooh. So she still got the corner carry. From lethal yeah, lethal right. yeah, performing an overhead attack. You can invade the opponent's low can hitting you, attacks with this But move. can you still TK it? It knocks the opponent down on hit. This move can't be blocked while crouching. The mid air right, version changes her jump trajectory to aim for a surprise attack <laughs> with you. Subarbrado. All right. Oh. Okay. An extremely damaging attack. Oh, that's <laughs> also has okay. a quite long range. That is big. So you can deal big oh, look at that damage. Is that an overhead? This is some the spirit of Faustus. The damage dealt changes depending on the number of swords you oh, have equipped. Interesting. Oh, interesting. And the range and damage becomes quite poor when you have none left. <laughs> oh. It keeps you vulnerable oh. when lift and can't be cancelled into from any other moves, so use it sparingly at mid-range. Gotta use that thing raw, alright. Rem Lethal moves forward slightly as she attacks. Oh. You can perform up to two follow-up moves by inputting quarter circle back punch. Ah, oh, so this oh, is like a, yeah. instead of yeah. the second string, you got a cool little record. Alright. 
I the follow-up moves this. receive a buff I'm when delayed. This character in the battle. Oh, Aggressa wait, the first Dormal. move could be dash cancel? That's attack with long range. That's got potential. It works well as a mid-air poke or in combos. Oh, it's kind of like a combo Its properties change Martelli depending on the number of swords the... you have equipped. Oh, from Rev2. its range two. and damage yeah. become quite poor also, when you, you have none left. Let's say, you did you just call the same Martelli for Pally? That's a fun thing a to say. Multi-hit projectile. Wasn't Calvados staying laser? Wasn't that Jacko super? This move can cancel out um, almost any of the opponent's yes. projectiles. Okay. Oh, a good amount of chip damage, even when blocked. Jacko deconfirmed, thank God. If there are any unlocked <laughs> swords, they will be <laughs> retrieved. How big that number, number thirty is! This attack works great to punish a vulnerable <laughs> opponent from a distance. Look at how big this number is. An extremely oh, damaging okay. attack that's invincible on startup. Oh, oh okay. That's the her. damage changes depending on the number of swords you have equipped. Whoa, the what? Was that 50% as a reversal? It did a lot of damage. The more damage, the more swords so you, you can have. use it in combos to deal big damage. That's a 50% reversal. That's a lot of fucking damage, alright. That's a lot of fucking damage, alright. Hitting the damage. opponent with the edge of her attacks yeah, at mid-range. Cool. Unlike older Guilty Gear games, which aren't silly and have no nonsense. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, you would never be able to do 50% off in any sort of capacity in an older Guilty Gear. Yeah, this is yeah. the first uh, game they've unlocked, ever made. You slashing. can't see it, but I am hiding uh, Slayer's Dead on time behind a piece of paper. Yep, yep, Get yep. your offense going with the heavy slash version of Bayonetto. You can continue Bayonetto. attacking if the opponent blocks and land a combo if it hits them. I Thank always you continue blocking or continue attacking when my opponent blocks. I am, yeah, so I think that's really cool. I, I like what, what she's got on the table there. I think... Uh, She's gonna be fun in the beta because I'll bet you people are gonna figure out ways to do stuff with that uh that quarter circle back P uh dash cancel Rekka situation, and that's gonna be like in addition to the other ways they showed that's gonna be how she gets corner carry now for sure. Like, yeah, you can cancel quick. that into like a PP like PK back into that because those link right. You know you just can't like Gatling back from slash and heavy slash. So if she can just keep using you know short normals to to keep them juggled and then run that that Rekka to the corner. And I mean, like, that little aerial only, like, two sword slash thing, if you can TK that with both swords, like, that's gonna be pretty filled. That looks like it has some potential as well. Yeah. That's awesome. Alright. Now everyone cool. judge JMD for his recommended videos. Dude, I will say, I can vouch personally for um, both of that Awful Games Done Quick highlight video, the Sage and Will the Combos Kill video, and that thing about love, the Arc Sith animation um, I love the Will thing. It Kill video. I really also, you know, the Frosty Plus R <laughs> yeah. was very good. I really appreciated the second I, one because it was all Kusoga games, and that's all I play. I really liked you guys trying to like drag me for like all these various like these are just like what you get when you watch yeah. fighting games, and then like also like yeah, listen to like <laughs> new J channel and like jazz that I listen to. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with any of this. Some that could have been so much worse. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, Craig, Tails, thank you so much as, uh, as always for commentating. Uh, thank you to Teto behind the scenes. Thank you for everybody who, uh, who showed up tonight, turned out in the chat. Um, again, uh, go ahead, sign up for next week's bracket. Um, we will be here. Uh, we will be grinding, uh, strive while we're here. Maybe I didn't say that out loud. Um, but we're going to have a match arena. If it's any, if the past two weeks are anything to go by, there's washing machine money on the table. So, <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll see y'all then. Uh, until then, uh, I'm JMD, uh, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye.